Word Machine. Check. The, the thing I wanted to talk about and geek out about, because I was going to call you and do this anyway, <laughs> was um, talking about the whole toy cult sheep type mentality that we're getting, because now we're, we're seeing how, like, you know, when we get, when we, we've been collecting certain lines for a long time, and now we're seeing how the company is totally shitting on us by giving us cheaper product, but double the price, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And it's it's freaking difficult when you I mean like now you're you see it already and you just like you you had a, a, a it's a big change in your life with you know your girlfriend coming living with you now now it's like you're focusing on other stuff too this is your hobby and now your hobby is becoming like three three or four times more expensive than it was you know oh, when we started yeah. and it's it's just unrealistic and uh, like that video I posted before. Uh, I think it was like two videos back when the guy I was I was kind of arguing with the dude on the DC um, unlimited fan page and uh, on YouTube I mean on Facebook and the dude was kind of like uh, <laughs> pretty much you know trying to come up with excuses for why we get what we get and I just said it's you guys you could vote and then call it a day you know vote with your wallet call it a day because if we don't buy any other shit then they have to change because in the end Hasbro is a toy company they make toys if no one buys the toys then they can't keep the doors open you know exactly so I don't know I I don't know have you been like I know when you first got the um, DC stuff you were getting a lot of um, like QC shit like issues with Arkham City stuff and the clear joints breaking on you and shit you know has that been still happening? Um, the last one that I got was, uh, what was that? I think I got Earth 2 Wonder Woman. Oh, you found and her. Cool. She was fine, but I've heard, like, so I've seen some other reviews on her, and she's, like, had some issues yeah. here and there, like, face-wise, like, her eyes, a little weird, mind <laughs> Yeah. But overall, I, th I really like that figure. That figure is like one of my favorite Wonder Woman figures that I own. Yeah, I want to pick it up uh, this weekend. I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. Go. Um, other than that, like like I feel like like QC issues have been starting for a while. With have been going on for a while because it started with Killer Croc when I bought the Arkham Asylum Killer Croc. <laughs> with his arms falling off. <laughs> his arms just fell off. Damn. I was like, what is this shit about? And then I'm like, they sent me a brand new one, and I was like, okay, that's cool. But Don't tell me his arms fell off, too. I gave, I, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> his head fell off. No, <laughs> <laughs> but I sent that, that one to Rob, because only one arm fell off, and then, like, I think it was like six months later, the other arm fell off. Damn! <laughs> I was like, God damn! <laughs> because I want to stay together. That sucks. He glued, he had to glue both arms on, so. Man, I've seen some tutorials on like uh, cracking them open, open and uh, uh, putting a screw in the arm so that you can yeah. use that as the peg instead because it's stronger. Because what they did is they have ginormous arms on these tiny little pegs. Okay. So it's just bad engineering lack of engineering that's the number one thing i hate about american action figures that like japanese figures are like overly engineered in some cases you know like you can stand them on one foot and they'll like perfectly balance and shit you know i mean shit, you know what i'm talking about right? yeah, yeah perfect weight distribution perfect uh joints yeah freaking uh, when when they use die cast or something like yeah, yeah die cast on the feet. for capes which they should do uh-huh uh huh. I mean, there's there are instances like with Play Arts Kai and with some of the old uh, SIC figures where they use um, plastic, but they're articulated for like capes and uh, exactly. you know That's scarves. How capes should be used. Yeah, but like not just one big static piece of fucking rubber. <laughs> like that's weighing. It's, right. it's like weighing down your figure. You want him to stand, and he can't stand because he's got a two pound rubber cape. Like, what the fuck is that about? Like, I I just don't get it. And the more I look at my old Japanese figures and then look at the new ones, which it's something I've been wanting to do for a while is like, I've, I keep saying Bandai makes the best figures mm -hmm. and P 
people always are like try to argue and I'm like listen I'm not saying everything Bandai makes is perfect what I'm saying is they give you a choice like say you wanted a common rider you could get the cheapo common rider shit that's for kids yeah. and that's real cheap it's like five or ten bucks you could yeah. get a you could pay like a little bit more money and get an action figure that's well sculpted that you could play with like the um actually a few more dollars you could get a small sic the three and three quarter inch ones that are pretty well articulated lots of uh you know accessories better articulated than the gi joe yeah way better articulated than gi joe and um and they cost the same price actually now they cost less than what gi joe cost in the store um and that's with shipping and shit, you know what I mean? Like that's ridiculous. And you're getting more accessories and stuff with them. Yeah, and um, then you pay a little bit more. You could get the larger SIC figures. You know, you it's like incrementally you could get up. You can pay more, and you get more for your your money. You get more articulation, better paint, more uh, accessories. You know what I mean? Like show accuracy. You know, it's not like here where a whole entire line could be dedicated to a movie. <laughs> and like less than half the character, the figures offered are representations of what was in the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's not that's not cool. And that's that's on top of the bad QC. Um, yeah, and it's so weird. Like when you brought up the the whole sheep thing, like, and you really see it. Like, you I don't really see it so much with like like DC figure fans. I see it way more with the Marvel Legends fans. Like they are so blindly just just obsessed with their figures they don't <laughs> care if it's not even that good yeah they think it's that good yeah yeah i had a dude comment on my uh storm review saying that okay he said he didn't he said that the issues i had are issues with every female figure no they're not and i was like no and then he also said he got the storm figure and he and he and that figure didn't have the gummy joints and i'm, I'm like you're lying dude yes yeah. I bought. I've got all those figures except for uh, Magneto. except for Magneto, and they all have gummy joints. Um, I've got all the Guardians of the Galaxy figures except for Rocket. They all have gummy joints. Like <laughs> that's what they're doing. I don't Ro know. Rocket won't have that problem. His <laughs> <laughs> lower half won't have that problem. I know, right? The the, the the one joint he has will not have that problem. Or what? Two, three joints he has. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. It, it is weird. I don't get why people... It's not even brand loyalty. It's just, like, blindness. And I'm just, like... I like action figures all across the board. I mean, shit, I'm reviewing 26-year-old figures sometimes. The cops' figures are old as fuck. But they held up, and they were made by Hasbro. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I'm, I'm bitching because I know Hasbro makes quality shit, you know? They They've can. They've done it in the past. Yeah, they have made quality shit. I don't know why now it's, like... I guess they just figured what we keep saying is that no one expects more from them except for a few people, a few vocal people, and then the rest are just going to take whatever's thrown, so they're not complaining. Kind of like the issues I saw with, uh, what's his name, uh, Gladiator in that pack that, that the they're SDC selling at the SDC, um, yeah, you know, at the Comic-Con. Yeah, like with his head being like way up off of the peg and shit, and like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, because they didn't drill deep enough into the head. Yeah. And it's... Like, like a bobble head. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it'd be different if they were... If every figure was a unique sculpt, and they had those kind of issues because there was a lack of engineering, I'd be like, okay, fine, I get it. You had problems sculpting the... Um, you had problems sculpting, or maybe a novice sculptor did that particular figure, but you're reusing... You could have reused the head that already existed, put a mohawk on it, paint him up, and call it a day. They're reusing everything else. It's just strange that even with their formula, they're still running into problems. Like, that doesn't make sense. If you have a cheap formula that, like, works and is cost-effective and whatever, then you shouldn't be having some of the issues that we're having. It's just laziness. And... I don't know. Personally, I'm just, I'm kind of, it, it bores me because now I cringe when I see a new line. I'm like, shit, that looks awesome. Then I'm like, fuck. You know, what problems are going to arise? <laughs> What's going to happen if I get it? Like that Captain Marvel, the, the one from the Odin wave, she looks amazing. But I'm so scared that when I get her, there's going to be something wrong. Yeah. Something. Her legs may not move or 
Your head will be bobbling. (laughs) (laughs) Stuff like that, man. I hate it. I just... I want to be able to just say, like, when I go out and I pick up a, a Masters of the Universe figure from, like, Big Fun, or if I buy them online, I know what I'm getting. You know, if I go back and I buy a SH Figure Arts figure, I know what I'm getting. Yeah. And it's it's always the same. It's consistent. I mean, sometimes it's more than what I expected, um, but never in a negative way. So, I don't know. For me, that's just one thing, the QC thing. Same thing with DC Collectibles. I've really completely put a halt to buying any DC collectible shit because I'm afraid of the clear joints. Yeah, me too. I'm like horribly afraid. Like I want the crime syndicate. I want, um, that's, that's actually, they, there were some problems with them, but uh-huh. for the most part, I'm glad I bought the whole set. They look awesome. Except for great. power ring. Power ring's the lamest looking one of the Power books. ring is awful. <laughs> he's, a, he's a redheaded stepchild of that group. <laughs> <laughs> but I want, I want Deathstorm, because if he's cool, then it will make me go out and get Firestorm, and I've always wanted a Firestorm figure, but... That Firestorm is awesome. I love that. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna have to look. I just, um, I don't know, man. I just, I don't like this this rise in, in the QC issues. It's just too much sometimes. It, it's, it's taking the fun out of collecting, essentially. Yeah. And, Especially and, with the poor choices, like... Like I'm like literally looking at my that Magneto figure that just came out. Oh lord! <laughs> oh my god! It is just it is just atrocious. Like even with the head swap that like the head swap that I did on my review. Yeah. It's so much better, but still like this figure is a mess. Like he's literally just going to be sitting on a stand the whole time in one pose, and I'm never going to use him for anything else. <laughs> I don't want to like look at him too much because if I look at him too much, I'm going to realize the problems with him again. <laughs> you can't even bend his wrist, and it's like yeah. Magneto of all people. Yeah, he's always he's like emoting his with his hands, you know. And it's like, come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I bought the I bought the build a figure piece off eBay. I couldn't bring myself <laughs> to buy Magneto. <laughs> I couldn't do it. It's just bad. Yeah, I mean, man. it's better than the the Toy Biz version. Yeah. Because that one's built like like a gorilla. <laughs> yeah, didn't they use like Iron Man's arm? It's or... Iron Man's body. Yeah, it's oh, Iron it Man's entire body. Yeah. Uh, it's that classic Iron Man body. Um, The Marvel Select one is awesome. I think it's better. It's just that the head sculpt is kind of like he's straining. Wow. Like he's yeah. got diarrhea or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's been straining for hours and he's crying and it's just... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, like, I'm gonna get it out. The little beard turn comes out. I don't, Charles. Charles, my bowels, Charles. Oh. <laughs> but um, it's the the Marvel Select. I swear, Marvel Select is like the unsung hero of all of this because when you go back and you look at what they were doing, they made a fucking Falcon figure when Hasbro Nobody didn't even did. do it. I think the only have the only Falcon figures we have that count are Hot Toys and Marvel Select. That's it, <laughs> which is weird. Um, freaking, uh, you look at all the character choices that they're doing. Marvel um, Legends never gave us a Thanos. They gave us a Thanos. Yeah. Um, you know they did multiple Ultrons. They did multiple uh, Venoms. They did multiple Spider Man. Spider Man. They've got every era of Spider Man. They've done one. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just. Awesome. It's crazy. I mean, the only problem I have with them is scale. Sometimes the scale is just way off. In the case of Sabretooth, it's perfect. Because he's supposed yeah, to be yeah. like... That Sabretooth is great. Yeah, he's supposed to be ginormous like compared to most of your characters. But uh, with Magneto, it's almost like video game logic Magneto because he's like seven feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that, that, that arcade game. Uh-huh. <laughs> X-Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to welcome die. Welcome to die. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to die. Well, thank you, Magneto. Okay, I know, right? I've been ready my whole life. I know, right? He's so he's so uh, uh, cordial. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> but um, no, nah, I don't know. I just that that part with the the QC and shit has been bothering me. And I was like, man, we gotta we gotta talk about this annoyance. I wonder if. They're really, um, actually, wait up. I actually got to go back. I was watching a review from Anthony's Customs. He was reviewing um, the uh, Diablo figure 
from NECA. And he was like, this is a $25 figure. It's almost 12 inches tall. It's a unique sculpt. And there's paint variation all over the thing. How, are, how is it NECA can do this? And they're a smaller company than Hasbro. But Hasbro is constantly telling you, it's so expensive to make new sculpts. Yet, every time they say that, then they go back on their word and they give you exactly the thing they told you they couldn't give you because it's too expensive to do it. Like, uh, I think next month, no, 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 November, I think it's November, we're getting the Doomsday Unleashed. And they yeah. said, they tried to say... on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I posted? Uh-uh, not yet. Oh. oh. Wait, oh, on Facebook? Yeah, I posted that, but I posted that on the Man Collector forum. <laughs> Were they mad? They deleted it. I'm checking right wow, now. They, they deleted, deleted it, it, and they deleted it. Of course. You pussies. What did you say? I have it. Hold on one second. That's craziness. Uh, it's so I posted it on my, uh, oh, you see that, the uh, Facebook page. Uh-huh. And it's, it was long. <laughs> titled it Pointless Low Blow with Unleashed Doomsday and this was before um, they had released it Yeah. that they were actually going to release it when they only released the photo and then they were like oh we're not releasing it and then they and I was like <laughs> I was like you know I appreciate getting Bound Doomsday and Damien the two figures that we should have got anyway but when, it, when you guys do this shit it really pisses me the fuck off yeah and I go, we all knew that we we would uh, never get Unleashed Doomsday. There was no point to confuse people into thinking that we had the chance of getting Doomsday by sending us this picture. I take this as a low blow and a cheap shot at us collectors who supported this line for so long. Why even release that photo? Nobody thought it was cute. To be honest, it was an extreme arrogant. It was extremely arrogant of you at Mattel yep. to do that. Like dangling a treat in front of a dog and then never giving it to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> don't quality. Me, <laughs> and, don't, and I said, don't give me that PC response that we don't have enough money for tooling. Yeah, like, I know, right? doesn't have enough money. Please. <laughs> you guys are a multi-billion uh, dollar toy industry making money hand over fist and you, and you have the money. You just got greedy and wanted more. Stop being so cheap. You'll, you'll probably... And I said, you probably delete this post anyway, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't know who, and then I, I closed with, I don't know who in the world makes decisions over at Mattel, but you guys should probably rethink who is and go with someone else, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> now, like you said, it's nor normally you don't, you don't waste your time with this crap, but it needed yeah. to be said. And then, of course, they delete it. Yeah, it's like, come do. on, like, are we not supposed to have an opinion? Yeah. We can make the choice to buy from you, but we can't make the choice to not buy from you, essentially. Like, this is the problem that, like, we're seeing. I, at least I'm seeing it all over the place with the fans. Because on that fan page, the guy told me, <laughs> don't sp say anything bad or don't talk down to any DC action figures. I was like, um, are their feelings going to get hurt? Yeah. Like, why, why can't I oppose? If it's a shitty figure, it's a shitty figure. Um... And he was like, oh, someone should have read the rules of the of the group. So I left the fucking group. I'm like, you can chill. You can have your group. Yeah, you can have your lame-ass group. Because it doesn't make sense. We're adults. And we buy things. We work hard. We buy things. And this is for our, like, spare time. This is our escape. I don't want to be reminded about how fucked up our economy is when I go and buy an action figure. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> That's besides the point. That's not what I'm trying to achieve by collecting my action figures. I'm trying to go back to, like, the simplistic, you know, way things were when we were kids. You just played with your figures, you know? You didn't really think about how it got made or, you know, how it gets to the store that you bought it from. You didn't worry about that shit. You just know when you went to the store, cool shit was there. And you could buy it. Oh, you're not going to buy a car that, like, isn't put together well. So, like, why would you... Like why would you why would you not complain about a figure that's not put together well? Then you may as well just buy whatever. Like, exactly. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like yeah. that logic won't apply to other things that you that you buy or do in your everyday life. I made this same argument when the Xbox 360 yeah. came out and it was having a fail rate of 95 percent. 
What in America has a fail rate of 95% and still sells? Nothing. <laughs> I don't get how, how you can be, how they can be so greedy. It's just it doesn't make sense. But it's so ridiculous. Yeah. I don't get it. I mean, I like figures. Don't get me wrong. I'm, it's never my intention to buy a figure so I can dog it. I'm usually buying the figure because I like the character. And then if it sucks, then I'm just like, shit, here we go. <laughs> I'll admit, I did buy a figure once just to dog it. <laughs> <laughs> what figure? <laughs> that uh, Fall of Cybertron Jazz. Mm -hmm. I bought that yeah, shit you just did to tell rip me. it apart. Because it was such... Uh, like, I could tell looking at it in the pictures <laughs> that that was a shitty figure. And I was like, and everybody's going to buy it and everybody's going to talk... Like it's like it's like it's the greatest thing since toast, but that's some bullshit. So <laughs> I had to do it. I can't do it, man. Cause I could spend that money on my son, you know, e either of the sons actually. I could spend you know on the baby because the baby needs new stuff, you know, or I could just go and buy something for El you know the, El the older one. And I just, I'm just like yeah nah, mm mm. But um, I will say. I've been seeing a lot of deals with like older import shit that I really want, which I'm surprised because before when I was jumping into the import, you know, toy market, I was afraid because all the shit I like was always way up there. Now I'm seeing deals where it's like packages of like two figures for under 50 bucks. And I'm like, what the fuck? You can't even get two Marvel Legends online, you know, most times, the new shit. You can't get a pack of two figures for less than 50 bucks it's usually gonna be 50 or more or like old that's, yeah like, that's absurd yeah like the old uh like bucky i mean not bucky winter soldier and freaking uh, oh black, black widow up. that's like oh. a 200 dollar two-pack and it's they're not even that good of Fuck figures that. i had to scrounge up i found that domino and uh cannonball yeah two -pack, and i already had cannonball but i was like i really want that domino and that domino goes for like 70 bucks and yeah. i'm like i'm not paying 70 dollars so I went to Among Time had had it on eBay. They they usually have an eBay store too, and they had it on there for sixty bucks. And I bought it, and I was like, "This is great." Yeah, yeah. I like to do a, a custom like I'm gonna do a custom to that other cannonball and do like different colors when you did the yellow and the blue. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that, and then I got I finally got Domino, and like they're both really good figures too. Yeah. But I'm not paying like a hundred and twenty five dollars for that two pack. Exactly. That's exactly. Just yeah, I can never find that Domino figure by itself for a decent price, ever. I want the Rogue figure that was supposed to be in that online exclusive Wolverine wave. And then later on they said she was going to be in the X-Men Days of Future Past. Yeah. And then they canceled that. Yeah, it never happened. One with all the cleavage hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, because it's the best Rogue they've ever yeah. made. Yeah. And um, the last Rogue I had was back when X-Men vs. Street Fighter came out. When Toy Biz made those two packs. Yeah. I mean, that's an awesome looking figure. She looks just like the one in the game. It's just now figures are so much better than that. So yeah. I would like. I've seen a lot of people take that that uh, box set one, rip that head off because that head is like manly. Yeah. And then put the uh, what was it? The X Men Classics Rogue head on. Oh, with the. Oh, she's got like a little bit of the shorter hair. Yeah. Huh. That might that be a good a idea. Better. Yeah, it might be a good idea, because then you don't have to paint anything, because that'll be a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. To paint all that shit. But I saw a couple customs where I was I was so impressed. I was like, man, I might even pay somebody a couple hundred bucks to, like, do this. I'm, it's so against how I do <laughs> with action figures, but because I know it's someone taking the time to actually craft and do some shit themselves, I might consider doing it. I don't know. I say it now, and I probably won't. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably do it myself before I send it to somebody else. You know what I mean? Like, but, um, shit, yeah. I was yeah. thinking of customs. I wanted to tell you guys. What's up? Uh, Stevie D is the man. Really? If you guys want any custom, you got to go to that dude. He's, he's awesome. Really? Um, I saw the doomsday he made for you. Yeah, the, do oh, that, yeah, the doomsday, and he's, he's, uh, we're working on a project right now. He's going to do the entire team of, uh, the new mutants, the original. Oh, the wow. Original costumes. From the eight, 1983. Yeah. He's doing that. I found a Wolf Spain. I found all the figures and I sent them to him. Yeah. He's just going to, like, do them for me. Wow. So, yeah, and he's he hooked me up with a good deal. And, uh, yeah, he, yeah. if you guys want a custom, you guys got to go to him. He's, he's a really cool guy. Huh. It seems like it. It seems like he's pretty decent on, like, speed. Yeah, he gets back to you right away. That's good. 
That's good. Yeah, I've been on his, his website a couple times because you told me about him. I forgot what custom you had. Oh, di didn't he do the um, Bloodwind? Or was that someone else? Uh, no, that was someone else. He did uh, Talon for me. Talon, that yes, that's who it was. Yeah, that thing is, that's probably one of my favorite customs that I own. That and the, the Red Hood that Anthony's Customs did. Yeah. He's done oh, so many red hoods. I know. <laughs> but you should just mass produce these, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, get a three D printer. And yeah, call it a day. Do the thing. It's over when he's done. Well, once he if he gets one of those, it's over. It's done. Because yeah. that's that's the way it's going. And yeah. so so many people. He's gotta be making so much money. Dude. At four hundred bucks a pop. And, and that's the average? Charging? Yeah. Holy uh, shit. And when I said something, they were quick to just cut me off and stop talking to me. I was like, <laughs> I was like, dude, explain to me what it is you're using that costs 400 bucks, because I'm going to send you the figure. I just need you to add things. I mean, epoxy um, sculpt doesn't, or the two-part epoxy doesn't cost 100 bucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, like, the paints, he's not using, like, the, the most prismatic, you know, awesome paints. So I'm yeah. like... Where where's the the and I know it takes time. Don't get me wrong. I'm an artist too, but four hundred bucks for you to just repaint a figure? Like no. I didn't know he was charging that much. Though. Yeah. If you go on his like when you go on his website, because I asked on his uh, YouTube page, and people just started attacking me. I was like it was like I was blaspheming him or something. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I just asked the price. God damn. <laughs> And, and they just attacked me like I was like the freaking Antichrist or something. And I'm like, shit. And then so he finally gets back to me after this, this fucking like landslide of, of evil comments of people, you know, trying to explain how much of an artist he is and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, just ask on my, um, you know, website and we'll get back to you faster. I was like, okay, cool. I mean, I go the guy does, does really good work. Like He does. He does do some real good work, but I want to know how long that shit lasts. Like, he does really good work, and, like, like I, I don't know. Like, I have... So he, he and I have, like, similar tastes in what we look for, and that's why, like, he and I get along so well. Uh -huh. Because, like, he and I, like, same thing with Stevie. Like, we have similar tastes, mm -hmm. what we like to see in a figure. Um... I mean, yeah, I didn't know he was charging $400, frankly. Yeah. I mean, he's got to do his own thing. That's, that's true, that's true. Um, he's got to make his money, and if he's good at doing it, he can do that. So yeah. I, I don't blame him for doing <laughs> that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he does take a little bit longer to get back to you, but he does get back to you. Yeah. Um, so he said he always has, like, five projects at all at the same time. He's got, like dude, he's got, like, he's got so many commissions. Yeah. He's backed up all the time. Like he'll email me. I emailed him a while ago to do like a, a Jim Lee Cyclops for me, and I know he's busy, and that's fine, and I don't really care. That that's okay. I'm I'm not in that big of a hurry for it. Yeah, but yeah. I might have Stevie D do one, and then I'm I might have him do one, and I'll just do. I think I'm going to do like comparisons. Like I might do one in a DC UC body. Uh huh. Because I've seen that done before, and it looks really good. And yeah. then I might do one in a Marvel Legends body. Yeah. So, yeah, the best one I've ever seen, the best ones that I've seen have been done on the DCUC, like Superman bodies. Yeah. They look it's, so clean, so it's clean. Cool. I'm just like, wow. And then the Marvel ones, when they do them on the uh, Bucky Cap body, it looks good, too. It's just there's it's a difference in sculpt, I guess. Yeah. And it, it works, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't look as clean as the ones that are done on the DCUC body. Like, Jin Saotome did a couple Jim Lee, diff, different versions of the Jim Lee um, Cyclops. He did the one, two from uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, so the colors were a lot brighter. He did one from the cartoon. He did one from the comics where it was a dark, almost like a navy blue with like a black wash on top of it. Yeah. And um, he did another one that was, a, it was like a, up, a update of the previous one where he had like the, the visor piece. It was... It was like really deep, and then he created this like clear uh, optic blast effect piece that you kind of shove into the eyepiece. Yeah, I've seen that before. It yeah. looked real good, man. I was like, shit, man. And this is all like he showed you the process and everything. They look so good. I'm like, man, I kind of, <laughs> I might bug one of these guys to do it. It's just that a lot of people, I think they overcharge because they know they can do it. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, a lot for it. Yeah. 
they know they can do it. And I, I just personally, like when uh, when I worked with uh, Happy Day Customs, uh, Chris at Happy Day Customs, he was pretty cool about it. And he was like, I asked him, I was like, I'm, I kind of want to start doing this myself. I'm like, what do you guys use that warrants the price? And then he told, he, he, he like broke down what he does. He says, I don't usually charge like 400 bucks per figure. It depends on how complicated what the, the client wants is going to be. Exactly. So like to have a blanket charge of like 400 bucks across the board, that's why I had a, an issue. I was like, yeah, no, sorry, I can't do it. But I admire his work. Dude does some cool work, especially when he takes like the, uh, uh, he did a, a custom death stroke off of some anime figure that somebody sent him. I think it was like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure figure. Mm -hmm. And that shit was amazing. He also did a custom uh, Play Arts Kai Deathstroke yeah. that was like an original design. And I was like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, it was. He, he does good work. I'm not dissing him at all. I just don't agree with his pricing. Yeah, he took that uh, SH Figure Arts Alternative Zero and made a brand new character out of it. And I was like, damn, that's. Yeah. That looked official. Like. Yeah, because a lot of customizers can't do that stuff like they can't they don't do good with original characters they always come out looking like somebody made it it doesn't look like a finished professional product you know usually but like him stevie d um even uh chris at happy day customs and glenn webb they really make that shit look professional and finished yeah. and you know it's, it's pretty awesome I, I wish... It, it's, yeah, I mean, I, I totally understand it's a lot of work and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and and you are getting, like, a one-of-a-kind work of art. Yeah. Uh, so I, I totally get that. But, like, um, I, I've also noticed that, like, a lot of... Um, I don't mean to go off subject here, but... No, you're good. A lot of um, Marvel characters look better in the DCUC body. Yeah. They almost fit, and like the musculature on the DC UC bodies are sometimes better than the Marvel bodies. Yeah. Because it's a little bit more realistic. Like when you turn around the Bucky Cat mold, you've got like all these back muscles that don't even exist on the human anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> it's exploding all over the place. Like, I really like that. Don't get me wrong. I really like the Bucky Cat mold. Yeah, it's an it's awesome, figure, awesome figure. He, he's got almost too much muscle on him. Yeah. Like, Got muscles growing on top of muscles. <laughs> yeah, I know. He looks like you could almost see the striations in the muscle yeah. through, <laughs> through his clothes. Through, suit, yeah. through his clothes. Yeah, it's too much. Because yeah, I was looking at that Cyclops figure, and I was like, "Damn!" Like he, like he's got abs. Like on top of abs. He's been doing P ninety X and shit. P P ninety X and insanity. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that's crazy. And a little bit of time up. Yeah, you know? <laughs> God. <laughs> but, but yeah, I agree. I agree. They, um, the horsemen kind of like, it's like they know how to reserve um, certain details. Like all the bulging, crazy mus musculature is on the He-Man figures. Yeah. And then when you move over to like, and even within the He-Man figures, if you look at the 2000, uh, um, the Mike Young Productions one from the 2000s, they're, those figures, and then look at the new ones, the classics, yeah. The classics, like He-Man, is a little smaller than uh, this, the the new classics He-Man, but uh, his musculature is different. You know what I mean? Like they have a grasp on different body types, different types of musculature, as opposed to one body type, different detail thrown into it. You know? And yeah, exactly. I like that though. I like I like the way they sculpt. I just think that the problem is that Hasbro outsources all their sculpts. So that most of the sculpts, at least back at Hasbro and Toy Biz, it was different sculptors from all over the place doing all these figures. Whereas Mattel had just the horsemen doing all the sculpts, so it was kind of consistent. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I noticed it with customs. Like I saw um, Jin Saltome did a. Um, he's my favorite. I just I, I don't know if I'd be able to afford what he does. But uh, he did a um, Havoc figure, like the old school Havoc with the black suit and the rings all over the place. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And uh, it just looked so clean. I was like, damn. Like, I, and I like more of the, I mean, you know it, you like them too, the 90s X-Men. Even yeah. though the costumes are a little bit more out there, they were very unique. Now there's, there's just too much 
of this like kind of real world aesthetic being thrown in there and the characters mm -hmm. to me just don't look as cool they don't it looks like in 20 or 30 years no one will remember those costumes that they're wearing right now they're no, still gonna remember the gym Lee shit you know <laughs> yeah well, i see i see that i found that figure that you're talking about Wow, that looks amazing. He's even got the 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 effect parts. The effects. Yeah. Oh, my God, that looks amazing. Yeah, dude, if dude is awesome. Yeah, you, everyone listening, you guys need yeah, to look at a, Jin Sao Tome. He's a fucking genius wow. when it comes to figures. Like he did a bunch of Gambit figures. He did one that was like comic accurate. Then he did one that's fucking video game accurate to Marvel vs. Capcom with the spiky hair and the, the light colors. And I mean, dude's insane. And his his work is just so professional. I wonder how he the, like uh, the Toy Man customs have it from the nineties. That Toy Man Customs? It's called Toy. He's called Toy Man Customs, and he did a DC UC body style for Havoc from the '90s with his uh, blue and yellow. Oh, the X Factor suit. The jacket. Yeah. The X Factor jacket. That was always my favorite version of Havoc. That yeah. was always my favorite version too. Um, but it looks absolutely phenomenal. You can see he like he took the collar off the Nick Fury and like uh, the Nick Fury um, coat and like molded it on and then remolded the entire coat. Like, he did some work on this. Yeah. Like, you can totally tell. Like, he really did a good job on that. Huh. Yeah, just look up, like, Havoc Custom. Yeah. Custom Havoc figure and it'll come up. I'm gonna have to look for it. Yeah, one thing about those customizers like, like, Jin, like, they always find... Like the perfect always, pieces. Well, yeah, well, yeah. They always find like the perfect to work with something else that you never would have thought. Like, hey, I could take this kneecap off this guy, and it will yeah. be the armor piece on this dude's shoulder, on this other guy's shoulder. Like, that shit blow, always blows my mind. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And and then when you see it, you're like, oh, I didn't even recognize it. it was yeah. Right here, and you're like, I have that figure. You yeah. Know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, like I I admire a lot of what. Uh, many of these customizers do because they're taking they're doing essentially what Hasbro should be doing you know what I mean all these companies that reuse parts yeah. this is what they should be doing you know what I'm saying like they should reuse parts like all the parts don't just reuse a body and just you know repaint it and shit and give us a new head actually look at your parts look at look at I don't know why they don't use some of Toy Biz's stuff I mean if I owned the the license for it, I'd do that shit, you know? Like, some of the Toy Biz yeah. figures were superior. You paid for it, use it. Yeah, exactly. You bought the company out, use it. It's, it's, it's at your disposal. Exactly. People still like those older body molds, too. Exactly. Shitty. Like, I know they still use the Bullseye one, and they'll use the, the uh, uh, what you call it, the Shield Agent one, well, obviously with Magneto, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> See how well that went. I know. Uh, but like, I mean, yeah, yeah, just use use some of the older ones. Use the the um. You can use the old Wolverine body and you just shorten it a little bit, and it'll be a, you got a perfect Wolverine again. Yeah. Like, because they they I feel like they're just like they're trying to go like the newer route with all their legends. Like they don't want to do the '90s stuff for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Which would make them the most money. Exactly. It's like they just want to stay current, but it's like nobody's reading the current shit. I'm not reading it. Yeah. yeah. Are you? <laughs> nope. We're watching the movies. <laughs> I'm yeah. reading Secret I'm Invasion not right the now. Current, like Marvel now. I don't like Marvel now, really. Yeah, me neither. I've been reading Secret Invasion. That's about as recent as it's gotten for me. Yeah. I'm just not feeling a lot of the new stuff, and me neither. I think that um, the reason why they're ignoring the '90s stuff is because it was ruled by Jim Lee. Yeah, and I now he's with, he's with DC. They don't want to acknowledge his ass. They're like, nope. That's so stupid. And petty. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. If I was Hasbro, I'd be like, fuck you, uh, Marvel. I'm doing. I'm, I want to make some money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to make some money here. I'm doing all a Jim Lee box set, and it'll sell for like three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, that would make sense. And people would buy it. Or make That's a freaking uh -huh. um. Make the wheelchair, the, the hover chair for Professor X. Don't even make a new Professor X. Just make the chair. Just make the chair. We'll you know? put it right in. Yeah. No, man, I want the I want the green jumpsuit with the black undershirt. Yeah, that I would make that shit. That would make sense. Holy shit. Yeah. Did you see the Archangel, Dark Angel Saga version that he did? 
The custom? Holy crap, the wings look amazing on that figure. Yeah. I mean, they don't look articulated. Do you use, like, different wings? Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they look 100% new. That's crazy. But, um, yeah, man, it's just, I think, if I could, if I could set up something with a, um, because I want figures done of the X-Men that I drew, the, um, my Marvel Legends X-Men, quote-unquote, um, if I could do that, oh wow, his Marvel Now Miss Marvel looks fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. Um, if I could do that though, get like the versions I drew of some of those characters, I'd just spend a lot of time remaking some of these, redesigning some of these characters and having a customizer make them for me. Because, yeah. you know, there's, there's things I like about the 90s costumes, but I know what needs to be done to update them i think i'm doing a decent job with it you know like i do stuff that i want to see so like cyclops's suit being a little bit more tactical but still having the strap and still having the you know the visor and his hair is out it still looks it gives you the look from the 90s but it looks updated kind of the way that the old school marvel legends used to be yeah. um and that's what i dug man and I, I wish that the new guys would do that like and it's weird that people aren't seeing this. Like, you're just hearing people tell you that, uh, you know, the new shit's just automatically better. But, you know, whatever, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's, not to each their own. It's turning into that, you know, where it's like, yeah, I guess if that's the way you feel, that's the way you feel. Like, I want a, a, a Mar uh, um, Collect and Connect um, Omega Red. Because I think that the one we got, he was... He's a cool size and that it works, but in the That's comics he seemed bigger. Bigger, yeah. Just a little bigger. Like you see him compared to Wolverine. It's yeah. Like, Whoa. yeah, like he should be like maybe a little bit like Terax, that that body, that the Thor size, that's what yep. Omega Red should have been. And um uh Terax should have been like one of the bigger uh collect and connect figures, you know, like a Hulk or something. Because he was always a ginormous character. I don't know why they made him so damn small. It's just weird to me. Yeah, it's super weird. But, I don't know. But um, I'm excited. There's a lot of um, companies that are starting to pick up the slack or trying to pick up the slack for um, some of these, uh, like for Marvel, I mean, not Marvel, for uh, G.I. Joe kind of losing their, uh, you know, their way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're gonna um, make like there's a comp there's two companies Boss Fight Studios and uh, Marauders Gun Runners. They both are having their own three and three quarter inch figures, um, and uh, it's pretty dope because they're um, shit. I'm trying to get this other this Professor X image to open up. There it is. Um, it's pretty dope because like what they're doing is the guys at Boss Fight Studios sculpted both figures, and Boss Fight Studio is made up of ex Hasbro employees, so um, a wow. lot of all their the way they do things and all the little gimmicks and blah blah blah. It's all the same shit that similar shit to what we were getting from them, and uh, now we're gonna get it with uh, you know like original characters. You know what I'm saying? Like a blank character that we can put whatever you know whatever personality we want to put on them, we can do it. So I'm kind of excited. I already helped them with their Kickstarter, so I have figures coming to me this Christmas. But, um, yeah, when those figures drop, I'm going to get a bunch more. I mean, they have, like, modular pockets and stuff and modular uh, uh, armor, modular freaking uh, holsters and sheets and different heads and all this craziness. So, yeah, you'll be able to make your character whatever you want. I mean, if you want them to be, you know. Awesome. Yeah. The, and then the other... Uh, they're called uh, Marauders Task Force. The company that makes them is... Uh, oh, yeah, I remember you telling me about this. Never mind. Yeah, I think I mentioned it once on a, a, a older uh, Off the Brain. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, man, they they really did their thing, and it's pretty, it's pretty cool seeing uh, how they would do it versus how Hasbro's been doing it, and these guys worked for Hasbro. And then when you see um, the other company, Boss Fight Studio, oh, wow, there's the Havoc. Holy shit! And he did all. He did the other X Men too. Um, yeah, see that would be nice. Why didn't we get that? I don't know. I don't know why they don't want to sell that figure. 
gotten every single Cyclops but that. Yeah. I don't. I just, I just don't. I don't understand the thinking behind it. And havoc, like we need a, a good havoc. Yeah, we haven't had havoc since. The, the one that we got in the nineties. The, the only one. His his first his first. Uh, yeah, first his, appearance uh, costume. Or whatever. Yep. I don't get it. Me neither. Toy companies are weird. Yes, they are. They, are. <laughs> they must have yeah. did one of those censuses or whatever. Where, <laughs> a focus group. <laughs> yeah, a focus group, and nobody <laughs> was possibly interested in it. Yeah, yeah. Of, of a bunch of little boys that play fucking Call of Duty. Yeah. And they never knew they don't they've never even seen these costumes. If they were smart they would ask some reviewers. Yeah. But they're not smart, they're stupid. <laughs> Toy Man uh Toy Man Customs did a uh, uh Archangel Dark Angel and you should see the well, I don't know where he got these wings from. That's he the one I was talking them. about. The Toy Man uh, yeah. costume yeah. one? Yeah, with the wings all with the crazy super out. Yeah, like the, just, Huge yeah. ass wingspan. It's crazy. But it's accurate. It's hundred percent accurate the way it looked in the comic. Yep. Because he had those like owl eyes kind of on the inside of his wings. Yeah, now, Cyclops has been eating roids. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Looks good though. <laughs> now the only thing I will say about his customs is they're not as clean as Jin Saltome's. I don't think he primes his figures first. Before he paints them, because the colors look washed, like not washed out, but kind of muddy, like the yellows and stuff. Maybe he did it on purpose. I think but, he did for a little like wear or tear or whatever. I'm not sure, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks crazy. I wish I could customize as well. <laughs> I don't have the patience. That's the thing. Like, I think if I sat down and started doing it, and I had the time, I could yeah. get the results. It's just. I just don't have the patience anymore. I'm used to customize 12 inch figures and I made a ton of figures, but I just, now I don't have the, the patience anymore. Yeah, I, I did that Ninja Turtle and I was like, man, I don't know how people do this. I didn't even paint a whole lot. And I was like, fuck, <laughs> having it's taking forever. <laughs> Arthritis in your hands and shit. <laughs> just, just sitting there waiting for the paint to dry so I can do another layer of paint or, or making sure I don't paint, get paint, let it bleed onto the other parts of the figure and having to do touch-ups and shit, and I was just like, I didn't even do a whole lot. I just did the, the headband, the eyes, and the um, and the elbow and knee pads, and that was it, and it took fucking forever. <laughs> I didn't even prime it either. I didn't, I just painted over the old paint. Yeah. Yeah. How cool would it be, like, I was thinking about this the other day, I was like, how cool would it be if, like, if I worked for Hasbro, this would be my marketing idea, okay? You take... Like, uh, you make a kit, right? Uh -huh. It's a customi customizing kit that, that anybody can do. Uh -huh. And you just you leave blank, you leave, you have like your blank body box. And you put like, you can choose, now you, you can put it in your order, and you can choose what body box you want to use. And what head you want to use, and we'll give you a, like maybe five heads that you can choose from. Um, two, two body box you can choose from. Or, or, you know, out of all the uh, selection that they own, um, uh, you, in, you would include two body bucks, five heads, um, and accessories and stuff like that, and sell it as, like, a kit, as, like, a customizing kit. Yeah. Like, so if you wanted to, like, make your own, like, make you as a superhero or create your own custom character that hasn't been made yet, you could do that. Yeah. I think that would be, that would sell well. There's yeah. a lot of, there's people who've been trying to do that. There was a guy on, right before Facebook, I'm sorry, um, MySpace disappeared. There was a guy who was doing, he was making these bodies that were specifically for customizing. And they came in like, I think, three different, you know, bucks. There was like the skinny, wiry dude. Yeah. There was like the standard muscular guy. And then there was like the, the tank. And uh, the articulation was insane. And he was just trying to get funding for it. I don't think he was able to get the funding for it. That's too bad. But the idea was perfect, man. I was like, man, if only. I would have been into that shit. Yeah, oh yeah. I would, I would buy like fucking ten kids. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because at least then you would have a starting point. And then all you have to do is find all the little pieces you need to make the, you know, bring the figure to life. And they have stuff like that. Like, um, they even have like a clothing. I think it's called like a uh, clothing trunk. Uh-huh. Like you... You set up, you get set up with like um, 
like a uh, what is it like a fashion um, consultant. Uh -huh. And what they do is you can either blog with them online, uh -huh. them, like FaceTime them or whatever. Yeah. Um, or you can just put in your order and you you choose what like stores you 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 want you you normally would buy from uh -huh. like clothes or whatever, and then they send you a trunk once a month. For, for like clothes, and you choose the clothes that you want. They'll send you like two pairs of shoes, a bunch of shirts, sweaters. It's like a big, huge trunk, and you choose what you want, and then you keep what you want, and you send the rest back, free shipping. What? Um, yeah, and you keep what you want, and you just pay for what you want. And I was like, why couldn't that apply with action figures? Like, there should be something out there that they should be like that. Like, That's how the subscription service should be. Yeah, exactly. Of course, people, you you have scalpers that would just keep all of them and send old figures back. <laughs> 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 like, oh, sir, this wasn't the figure that we sent you. That was. They'd be like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Meanwhile, they're selling them online for like five hundred dollars and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah. And that is why they probably don't do that. Yeah, that, like the more I think about it, because scalpers are greedy. That's yeah, the problem. You know, if people are if people are going to the fucking retail Somebody store here. store and stealing the figures out of there. Yeah. God. Have you seen that? All the figures that are being snatched out of the package, and then other figures are being put in there. I feel like people are doing that as a joke now. Yeah. I feel like people are like. Hey, this will be funny. I'll put it on the Marvel, Marvel Legends community. Huh? I'm gonna take my figure out, put it over here, and then I'm gonna put a different figure and be like, I got screwed. <laughs> See how many people pat me on the back. I know, right? It's like, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I just feel like that's like what people are doing now. Cause it's like some of these places like that they're showing like they're like only zooming in just on the package not even where they are or whatever yeah true and i'm, I'm like is this, are these actually like people actually doing this because like well, who takes the time what thief takes the time to put another figure in <laughs> well should it be easy no, now yeah, with the... i'm taking the whole fucking thing <laughs> i'm gonna take the build a figure piece i'm gonna take the figure itself and i'm not gonna replace it with anything else yeah Cause that's like backwards thieving. That's like just <laughs> thieving. I'm gonna give you some shit you don't want and put this back, and I'll take the one that I want. Who does that? <laughs> well, Who I have to like say, that? I did see that back when uh, Retaliation came out. Um, <laughs> there was a uh, remember those three packs that had like Roadblock and like Beachhead and Mouse or something. Oh no, uh, Snake Eyes. Yeah. And then there was, like, another one for the bad guys and whatever. Um, someone took the one that had Snake Eyes in it. They took Snake Eyes and they took uh, Kamakura out. And they put two of the core in their place. <laughs> and they left <laughs> Roadblock. So, like, I was at Target and I was, um, I was going up there to... Uh, what did I do? I was returning something else. And then I, I went to go pick up those figures that's what i went to target for in the first place but my wife was like can you turn this i forgot what it was but anyway when i was up there i saw it in the um in the little uh you know shopping cart behind them when they pick up all the returns or you know go to sh throw them out essentially and i'm like who actually like someone actually did that i remember seeing that kind of shit when i was a kid but like now like that's just crazy <laughs> Someone doesn't make any sense. And you know it's an adult. It's not a little yeah. kid. I don't know. It's strange. It's really weird to do that. Yes, it is. Know. If I was a thief, I would just take it off. <laughs> exactly. I'd take him a time to replace it with something else. Well, it makes sense. Just get the fuck out. Take it and get the fuck out of there. Yeah, then you can get the fuck out. That's the whole point of thieving. Yeah. I don't know, man. I've seen a lot of weird shit, so I'm, I'm not going to put it past anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? People do some weird shit and it doesn't even make sense. Um, like I'm I'm surprised at, you know, the lists of figures that we should be getting that we're not getting, like characters that people haven't asked for yet that they should have asked for. You know, like um shit, we're looking at a, a version of Cable that Toy uh Toy Man Customs did. And I'm like, how come we never get 
like comic accurate versions of Cable. I mean, we've had maybe one. Yeah, the the one from Toy Biz. Yeah, yeah. and then all the rest. Well, of we just them got are... Strife, but that's technically a clone. So yeah, like we need, we we'll need get a Cable soon. I hope so. We'll probably um, get like a fucking Marvel Now Cable. <laughs> that uh, fuck cable. yeah. I don't know, man. That shit just is... It's strange to me. Like I you, will say I like the one that came with Marvel Girl or whatever. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of reminiscent of the yeah, game. I just wish the uh, paint the paint job was better on it. Yeah. It's kind of reminiscent of the video game. With the... Excuse me. The two X in, insignias on his chest. Yeah. Yeah. Um... But yeah, it's it's weird to me. I, I don't know. There's a lot of strange choices. Like this this DCUC superpowers mashup that they're doing. I'm not buying it. Yeah, man. 30 bucks a pop. Even Mitzelplik costs 30 bucks. Damn. And he's, he only has articulated arms, arms at the shoulders. That's it. He can't move his legs. He can't even move his legs. I, I think you might be able to move his head. But I'm like, you, you guys are willing to pay... 30 bucks. That's actually what I was arguing about with the dude. I'm like, prepare to get, I said, bend over, prepare to get, you know, penetrated because that's, that's what they're doing. without shipping. Yeah. And it's $11 shipping. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, Maddie cleans up. That's why when they, when they cry poverty, I'm like, are you guys blind? Like, how are you not seeing all this? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to be the like bearer of bad news, but it's like, I like these figures too. But I refuse to let them take me for a ride. It just doesn't make sense. And especially because you look at you look at the sub the sub figures are still coming out. Yeah. Okay. Look at Doomsday. Doomsday's t- ten times better than a figure. Yeah. And he's only thirty five dollars. Exactly. You're telling me that these these fucking repaints are thirty dollars. Exactly. And then you look at like the you look at the the Damien figure out. He they actually lower the price to twenty three dollars now. Really. Superboy coming out this month is twenty three dollars. Wow. And Damien is twenty three dollars now. Wow. So you're telling me the same body figure is going to be thirty $8 bucks. Yeah. More? yeah, it makes no sense. And it's a repaint yeah. that I already have. And I, that's what I was saying to people. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" I'm like, "It's a repaint." I'm like, "There's nothing about this that's brand new. No new uh, tooling. No new uh, um, engineering. Nothing. Like if they added articulation." Then I'd be like, okay, cool. Put the double jointed knees and double jointed elbows from the Bane wave, and I'd be like, okay, cool. That makes sense. But that's not what they're doing. It's just the oh. same shit with a new paint job for twice the price of the original DCU. Sounds like they're trying to make up their money back from whatever they had in their back stock <laughs> by just repackaging it and reselling it back. All these uh, Batman figures lying around. <laughs> <laughs> Idea. Let's repaint them in a dull color. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Call it a day, guys. <laughs> Charge thirty dollars, and people pay for it because they're stupid. But it's 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 embarrassing because that's what they think of of the 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 collectors that are buying this shit, and it's it's weird. Like more and more on some of the sites that I'm on, I'm seeing people post uh, little bits of information explaining how you should go about collecting like stop buying the super expensive first day scalper sale like wait and then you'll see it especially when it's brand new and it's some shit that's in the store right now yeah and it's, it's on a hundred dollars on ebay yeah and like someone's buying like it. what the fuck like no i saw nova sell for that man when it first came out i was it's like not are, a, um, are you no crack? no nothing in that package not a single bit of detailing not a single bit of articulation nothing in there warrants that price so no. it's like, stop. You know, I can understand if it was like a rare import something with like tons of shit in the package. You know, you got die cast, you got expensive paint jobs, you got all kinds of shit. I could, I'd be like, okay, cool. I get it. I can see why this figure cost a hundred bucks. It probably cost that much to tool this figure. I get it. But like, no, not for these guys. It's just, it doesn't make sense. And it, yeah. I, I just, I'm tired of, of, of arguing that point. Because <laughs> I'm it, most times I'm not even trying to argue. I'm just trying to, like, throw it out there so people would kind of think about it. Because other people have agreed. It's just that I guess I say it in a different, more blunt way than everybody else. Because <laughs> as soon as I said, I was like, prepare to get penetrated. Dude got so pissed. And I'm just like, it's the truth. I mean, if you're going to just take it, may as well take it and don't say anything. Don't get mad at us. 
Because he was like, oh, that's expensive. It's way expensive. It's a ripoff, but I gotta have it. I'm like, if it's a ripoff, come on. You're empowering the ass munchers. And, <laughs> and then they tried to argue about it and try to get me to concede because they're saying that tooling, the paint and the tooling, and I was like, there's no tooling. We're only talking about a paint job. And this guy, uh, Daniel Plunkett or something, he has a, um, he has a, a, a blog, and I guess he knows people in the industry he was really like adamant about trying to explain why the price makes sense and i'm like nothing you say is going to make this price make sense i have like five superman figures already <laughs> from dcuc you know what i'm saying and there's no reason why there's no reason why i should be paying 30 bucks for this one and it's the same shit i already have the sad thing is is he knows how the industry works yeah and he's still trying to justify it yeah because his homies are, are involved but it's just it's strange to me and it you know it, it it bothers me and i hate seeing other people fall for it but whatever you know i'll i'll, I'll try to focus on some <laughs> more fun shit because yeah it, it's it's a never-ending battle that seems like nobody wants to listen to you know what they'll, about they'll, they'll take whatever they can get and especially like i've seen like people and i won't name names but i've heard people and i've talked to people um that I think highly of, and, and I was like, wow, really? Um, and I'm like, I've talked to them, I'm like, are you guys really going to pay $30 for these figures? Yeah. Like, well, oh, I'm not going to jump ship now. I'm already knee-deep in DCUC figures. I'm like, so you're going to overpay $30 per figure for the, all those? I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> but it doesn't sound too fucking smart to me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't so, get it. Guys, I don't know. I just I think it's ridiculous. It is. Like I'm said, not buying any of them. I don't care. Yeah, I agree. It's not worth it. No. It'd be different if, like, like I said, if $1 they one dollars shipped. No yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, that makes no sense for one figure for an American action figure. Like, oh, and then the, uh, the the old packaging. Yeah. Right? I'll just go buy the original figure. For yeah. Ex <laughs> <laughs> exactly. In the original packaging. <laughs> I know, right? MOC. <laughs> <laughs> and I be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 just weird, man. I don't know. That's what made me come to my con my conclusion. Like I'm gonna start reviewing some old shit. Like I, I still have my uh, Total Justice figures. I think I have everybody in that collection except for I'm missing a couple parts for a couple figures. I think uh, Connor Hawks. Bow, I somehow lost that, and um, I'm missing uh, Huntress's armor, but I have everything else. And I'm gonna just start reviewing figures like that. I'm gonna review my uh, Masters of the Universe figures, you know, obviously continue with Cops. I had forgot that I was still doing those. I'm like, shit, I haven't done one in a while. I need to go back and do those. But I'm just gonna go back to the ones that I, I won't spend as much time complaining. Because that's the part that. I'm starting to get tired of saying the same shit when I do a review <laughs> of certain yeah. figures. I'm just like, didn't we just talk about this the last time we reviewed a, a Marvel Legend, you know? Or, you know, I, I don't know. It, it, I want to at least be happy about what it is I'm, I'm reviewing and what I'm, you know, showcasing to everybody. So I'm going to showcase stuff that actually <laughs> is well done and, you know, makes me a little bit happier. Because some of that shit is just weird like if we did that shit in school when we were sculpting stuff and the end result looked like that our teachers would have like tore us a new one in front of the class like <laughs> you know it would have been horrible and now you've got a whole entire like it, it just doesn't make sense that's all it doesn't make sense we were even thinking about the other day i bought um my uh younger son we buy him imagine figures and i noticed how like Anything you can think of that Batman has had, and some shit that he hasn't even had, they've made it in Imaginex. And, and like villains and shit, like they made a Mr. Freeze that the accessory is Nora in the fucking ice, the cryo chamber. I, they don't even have a DC Direct version of Nora in an ice chamber, you know, the cryo chamber with yeah, Mr. So Freeze. Weird. I'm like, how did Fisher Price figure out? Like, we're gonna do this. It's like your kid's gonna know yeah. what that is like anyway. Like, the kid will have no fucking clue. <laughs> it's clearly something so that us as parents would be like, oh, look, it's Mr. Freeze and his wife. Hey, son, this is Mr. Freeze and his wife is stuck in here. That's why he's mad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we'd be explaining this to our kids. 
And it's like, why don't they make that shit for the adult collectors? Like, that would make sense. Like, I got him a, a super, I mean, a Lex Luthor in the fucking power suit. Like, he comes as a, you know, standalone figure, but then he, you can put him in the giant green and purple suit. Like, yeah. when, when are we going to get that for us? <laughs> DC Collectibles came out with the one with the suit and gave yeah. it, uh, additional head. But yeah. It. Yeah, they didn't give us one where it's like, the figure and the suit are two separate things and we just put them in there. Yeah. It's not like it's impossible. It just would take the thing that they're all afraid of, engineering, and they don't want to do it. What's so that? I know, right? In who what huh? <laughs> engineering. I can only imagine what they would try to charge you. Though. Isn't that what the Germans do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It seems like yeah, they would charge us like an arm would, and a leg. Yeah, because they would want to they'd want to get all their money and then some which off it's of something like that it's ridiculous it's ridiculous i mean like remember when they sold the um <laughs> the batman the batmobile from the 70s or 66 batmobile and it was like this big slab of plastic it's, it's, <laughs> it's just a hollow slab of plastic and they tried to charge i still see that shit peg warming like a motherfucker or, or oh, shelf warming for for over fifty dollars i'm like are you kidding me this thing is no better than any other batmobile they've ever made it's and, horrible. And it's not a good... It's just not good. It doesn't do anything. If you turn the wheel, the wheels don't even turn. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's just lazy. I know if it's Come that on. big. Yeah, if it's that big, it's like... It should do all kinds of stuff. The doors don't open. No parachute. Nothing. Yeah. Door, yeah. Doors don't open. Yeah. Doors don't open on a fucking... It's all... Cheap-ass Batman is <laughs> Fucking doors don't open. <laughs> I know you can buy yeah, like you can buy those ever. model like cars that uh the Maisto ones with yeah. the, everything and opens. the hood opens up the, you see the engine the and freaking shit in there. It, suspension works the shit there's transformers that have suspension <laughs> I know you know what I mean like that's just bad and Mattel's like yeah yeah we're gonna charge you you know fifty five bucks because it's a new sculpt why do they keep using that generic ass excuse and people keep on listening that I mean I guess that's why they're using it. But it's it's just yeah I can't do it I can't do it it's anymore. Trash. <laughs> I, it's trash. I can't do it. Um, but uh, yeah, the fiftieth. I have a couple friends on um, Jotographs that are pissed off at the the shitty QC with the fiftieth anniversary figures, and they're like, you know, my one dude, he's like, we need to all call into Hasbro and complain, let them know too much of this shit has been subpar. And I'm just like, yeah, it is. Too much of it has been subpar. But do you think they're going to listen to us? And it's weird. People in the comments just start dissing him immediately. And he explained, like, we, we're the reasons why that portion of Hasbro can keep their doors open. If they're not going to do shit right by us, then fuck them. We need to let them know. And if they're going to ignore us, then they need to close up. Because we, we don't need this. It's not right. But... Yeah. People were real quick to, to diss them and just ignore them. And I'm just like, man, that sucks. That sucks bad because that's the mentality that's out there. I don't know. We have to defend our, we have to defend our companies. <laughs> that, that haven't done anything to, to a forum, you know? It's just, I don't know. I, I, it, I just keep coming back to the same thing. I'm going to spend my money elsewhere. That's all. I just, uh, I'm glad I've gotten the majority of the Joes that I wanted. And I'm, I'm still working on my, uh, <laughs> shit, I'm working on two videos that should have been out a while ago. The one we did about collecting for beginners. Remember we did that like a month ago or two, maybe? Uh -huh. And uh, I didn't, um, I hadn't finished, uh, you know, editing it. And I got it up there. I have it right now. It's, it's in the queue. Since I started with uh, some of these new videos, I thought I was going to have to change my intro before I was ready. Um because of the new uh, partnership crap, but uh, I don't have to, I shouldn't even say crap, but the partnership details and stuff. But uh, I didn't have to. Oh, guess what happened the other day? It's kind of weird. What? So I got, I went to check my YouTube, like I normally do to check comments and shit, and I got a, uh, one of those uh, infraction letters from DMCA, I think they're called. Um, and they said that I was using, uh, I, in my Avengers, there was a video I did where I spotlighted the Avengers uh, score by Alan Silvestri. And uh, they said, because I put that music in there, that I was, I guess their machine or their, their program 
you know, mark me and I got a strike on my um, page. So I, I actually got in contact with them and they said that they'll, you know, you know, they're glad I got in contact with them. That the reason why it pops up is because uh, you can always extract the audio from a YouTube video. So you got to be careful how much of a song you put in there and shit. So, uh, but they said they'll take the strike off. I'm still waiting, but <laughs> at so least... they haven't taken it off yet? No, not yet. Wow. And it's only this week that I, that, uh, you know, this uh, all happened. So, I, don't, I don't know how long it took before they took mine off. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know what to expect, so I just was like, you know, I talked to them and I let them know. I was like, look, this is me. Essentially, it's free advertising and I'm an artist and I'm trying to highlight other artists' works. I mean, if you don't want me to do that, fine, I won't do it with this particular set of art. But I'm like, anytime I see good art, I want to share it because other people might enjoy it too. And it's good for the artist. So, you know, I know they make millions already, but, you know... Yeah, no, the composer's not going to be mad because he already got his money. Yeah. yeah. he already got his money. Why does he give a shit about somebody on YouTube? He yeah. doesn't. It's that software that they use. They created a... Stupid. Yeah. They need to get rid of that. Yeah, they really do. It's just pissing everybody. Or if, or if, you, if you're going to use it and it flags a video, then you need to have somebody on staff to at least look at the damn video. Exactly. To make sure they're not really whether they really are breaking rules or not because I've seen so many videos on YouTube where like the entire album will be on there yeah. playing seamless throughout the entire video and it's like yeah okay if I had one of those websites I could go to and download I'd have the entire album that way yeah but, like you didn't even have like the entire you didn't have like an entire song on there or whatever and you get flagged for it you know I didn't even have an entire I didn't even have the entire movie. I had like a clip that was like less than a minute, and I got flagged. Yeah, and it does. It just shit just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. It's strange, and like, and they know how much of the thing it is that you use because it tells you. Yeah, so none of it. I don't know. It just it. Yeah, it just does not make any damn sense. <laughs> Like, I, you can't, you can't find so logic angry. in it. He's so angry, he couldn't even, he couldn't think straight. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that, it just was weird to me. I was like, man, like, I've never had that issue before. And, like, that's from before this partnership with uh, Broadband TV. So it's weird that, like, now you see that. But that video is like, what, Avengers came out two years ago or so? Roughly, right? About mm -hmm. two, two, maybe a year and a half, something like that. Um, how is it now you see it, but you didn't see it back when the whole, you know, SOPA shit was going on and all that other stuff? Like, mm -hmm. really? And, it, and none of those videos are monetized. It's only the stuff I just... The last, like, maybe ten videos have been somewhat monetized, you know? But it's just strange how their thing works. It doesn't even have that many hits either. It's like, what in the hell? What was the point? I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, man, but, uh... For the sake of doing it. Yeah. But, uh... I don't know, um... How was, uh... Any other movies? I saw Sin City. Oh, yeah, you did. You were telling was me about it. It's alright. I can see why people didn't like it, though. Like, I thought it was okay. Like... Yeah. Just, some of it didn't... Like, I know it's supposed to be a prequel, but then if you're gonna do a prequel, don't show... Don't show shit that happened from the last movie, like like an like a like an epilogue from what happened in the last movie because they do that. Oh, that's and, weird. And it's and it's out and the, so the whole movie's out of order. So you're seeing pre, you're seeing, you're seeing stuff that happened before the first Sin City. Then it cuts to some shit that then it cuts to um, aftermath of of shit that happened in the last Sin City. Then so it's it goes not back really to a prequel. prequel. They probably did that because. It was fucking ten years ago, the first one. <laughs> yeah, they had to. They had to I forgot what happened. Exactly, they had to remind people. But it, it doesn't make sense because it only pertains to one person's story. Because only in one, one of the in one of the shorts of the first movie. Yeah. And it, I don't know. It just like it was jarring because uh because uh you see characters that shouldn't be alive and then they're alive. They're alive in this, but then but then once again it goes to um. It goes to a sequence where this shit already went down, and like stuff already went down, and the the few characters that were left are, um, you know, they they are interacting and they're going through shit. Um, there's actually like there's actually two stories, but that uh 
that are supposed to take place after the events of the first Sin City. Yeah. And one of them is brand new, and the other one is continuing um, after what happened from the first film. So you're trying to balance all that with... Sounds confusing. Yeah, it is. And, then that, and, I, and I see why people didn't like it. Yeah. Because that whole... Uh, Reservoir Dogs, not Reservoir Dogs, uh, Pulp, Fiction Pulp Fiction editing shit doesn't work for this movie. Like, yeah. if you're, if, if it's all, if it's not one continuous story. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, yeah. You can still watch it and enjoy it if you know, like, what it is you're supposed to be, like, which part is which. You can still enjoy it because it, it still feels like the old school Sin City. It does feel a bit, uh... It feels more grimy and more uh, more sexual. Yeah. Like, like the first one felt more violent, and then this one was definitely like way more. It was way more. Yeah, because isn't Eva Green like naked all the yeah, time? Yeah, she's like over half the time you see her, she's she's buck naked. She's <laughs> bucket naked, and it's I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hosses yeah. and all, I'm all right with it. And then yeah, there's I mean, she's one of those actresses that really doesn't give a shit. Yeah, so, you know, it seems it's it's fine because like that surprised me about. Um, 300 rise to rise of an empire there's like you see what her history is and how she had been kind of hardened and made into this like terrible person this like i mean she was evil because she went through some fucked up shit but then she's about to let the other guy themistocles have sex with her like the way he was i was like it was uncomfortable because it's like wait she had been like raped unbelievably like so many times you know so it didn't seem like she would be the kind of chick that would find any guy at all attractive she'd be done with that shit you know and then all of a sudden middle of the movie heated conversation sex scene and i'm like really <laughs> like that doesn't seem like ew that doesn't seem right like i actually said out loud i was like ew like that didn't seem right like at all you know but hey whatever works and you know she's fine so i'm not gonna complain but as far as the film goes and the story because i'm really i'm one of those people who gets into i mean you know how serious i get about like continuity and like you know plot and all that shit and yeah i was just like wow i can't believe you guys threw that in there okay <laughs> whoa yeah. there's a there's a nipple <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and her role in sin city is it's not quite like that but she's she's a fucking man eater in that yeah. movie. like the man eater like the poster woman for man eater that's her i'm i can't i it just was. It just was crazy what she was trying, what she was able to pull off, and it was just. It was like a. It was almost like a wink and a smile, and she was able to get what she wanted. Wow. <laughs> From like multiple characters. Yeah. You know, she was just playing people, and and it worked. I mean, I didn't have a. I didn't have a real problem with it. Um, just some of the, uh, the sex scenes are kind of laughable though, because yeah. it's just. There's no finesse, and there's no. It's just straight. <laughs> it's a straight like road. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah, it is, and it's and it's so funny to watch because uh, Christopher Maloney's in that movie, uh, uh-huh. and there's a scene where he where he humps her, and it's so goddamn funny because I'm watching Stabler hump this chick, <laughs> <laughs> and Ray Liotta has a scene just like that too. <laughs> wow, it's quality. I don't know, man. Like Sin City was one of those movies I could only watch one time. I mean, I've heard other people say it, but I, I think I even might own it, and I've only watched it once or twice yeah, since too. I've had it and I've watched it two times it's just not the kind of movie where you can be like oh that scene was awesome oh my god like really nah he pulled the yellow bastard's dick off yeah <laughs> like nah man I can't really go back and like you know it, it was good and then it's done and I'm like okay cool <laughs> I don't need it I don't need to own this or whatever I don't need to watch it 50 billion times but uh I will say they didn't do the uh the flat graphic stuff as much in this movie really that I like that I like that a lot in the first movie but they didn't do it as much if they stuck with the with the curious girl you know yeah. nor our shit more yeah huh I don't know Frank Miller's crazy a lot of people um even though you know everybody wants to give him his props he's fucking crazy like if you've ever listened to him talk about anything even the shit he works on He's fucking crazy. And, you know, even though we got a cool Batman out of it, the Batman that we got was fucking crazy. So, oh, yeah. it's like... <laughs> even look at the other characters. Look at, uh... Look at the fuck. He's got a woman in there that looks like a... Like a... Like the... Oh, like yeah. Dude. Bruno? swastikas on her tits and her ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> about Bru- <laughs> Bruno, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that okay? 
Dang. Yeah. This shit's weird, man. I was like, wow. And people, I know when we were young, it was like, holy shit, I've never seen this kind of stuff before, you know? But, okay, now that we're adults, it's like, yeah, that's really fucked up. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. like, really fucked up. He's into some yeah. other shit. Yeah. Like, like, a lot of his, he just, he's like that old conspiracy theorist. And yeah. the, the shit was funny, the, excuse me, it was funny the first few times that you heard it, because you're like, damn, this old man's crazy. But then, like, <laughs> that was, like, over 30 years ago. Yeah, dude, like, you're, you've got to learn as you go along. You can't be that stuck. I mean, maybe he's seen some shit that really shaped his worldview, but... Yeah, I just, honestly, I noticed he was crazy, and some of the shit, like, the uh, All-Star Batman, that shit wasn't, it was funny how crazy his version of Batman is. You know, just the shit he was saying, yeah. he's killing cops, you're like, what? Damn. He almost, ki he, Robin almost killed the Green Lantern, I'm like, what is going on in this book? He, <laughs> he, he humps uh, Black Canary, like, after they beat up a whole bunch of dudes, they just turn around and start humping, I'm like... What is going on in this book? <laughs> like, I, I just, I don't know. It just was strange. And, yeah, it, it kind of solidifies how crazy Frank Miller is. And shit, remember when we tried to watch The the Spirit? Yeah, I couldn't we, even finish it. I think it. we left. No, oh. I felt, no, we watched the whole movie because I fell asleep Oh, you fell asleep, it. I forgot. Yeah, I got yeah. drunk and fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember what we did. Me and my my wife, she was my girlfriend at the time. And it was like when when we when I first I think this was like our third or fourth date. I was like, so you got to meet you know my brother, and uh, she meets him, and we go. We're like, let's go watch you know see the spirit because she's into some of the same shit I'm into. So we were thinking it's gonna be awesome because it's by the guys that did Sin City yeah. and and Desperado and blah blah blah. And, uh, oh, no, no. No, it, 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 was, it, was only, it was only Frank Miller, and it's just like, oh, this is terrible. I mean, some of the, the visuals, some of the visuals were cool, and the style of the film was cool. It's just the movie, the plot was horrible. I just remember Sam Jackson hitting somebody with a giant mallet. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I remember. There was just so much random shit in there that yeah. didn't be in there. It was just like, what? Yeah. It's like, this is what comic book movies should never be. Like, yeah. you, you should be ashamed of yourself, Frank Miller. <laughs> <laughs> well, which would you rather watch? Would you rather watch The Spirit? Or would you rather watch the old uh, Fantastic Four movie? The old Fantastic Four. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about like the one. The no, 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 I'm no, about no, the one no. even before the it. Roger Corman yeah. one. Yeah, I'd rather watch it because the thing, every time he was on screen, I was in tears. He was so <laughs> fucking funny looking. He had that maw. Like, his mouth was all long and yeah. shit. Like, yeah, man. And, and, like, their suits looked so cheap. I mean, like, yeah. Are you talking about the, the 90s? Like? Yeah, the 90s oh, one. Oh, God. I thought I lost the 90s version. Yeah. Because the spirit was pretentious, man. That's the that's what I started to feel with. Uh, and, you know, people always argue this, but it's what I started to feel with the, the Nolan Batman movies. It's like... Yeah. The, the longer we watch and we listen to the way they tell you stuff, then the more pretentious it becomes because the character is not uh, as capable as the plot is saying that he is. Well, yeah, he sucks at fighting and he, he's too good to have a Robin. Yeah. <laughs> like, no one can help him. Just these specific people in these very specific ways because that seems more realistic. Yeah. But then when he actually goes out into the field, he fucks up and gets his ass handed to him. Most of the time, but everybody's yeah, like, "This movie's oh, badass." He was just like, he was just like there, <laughs> just talking a lot. Yeah, he's just like, kind of, I'm Batman. I'm there, and I'm here, and I'm not doing anything. I'm just talking <laughs> a lot and getting my ass kicked. Well, like the first <laughs> one, the fucking worst Batman ever. Yeah, he was pretty bad. Like the first, the Batman Begins obviously was great because. He whooped the most ass in that movie. I mean, it seemed like every time he was Without on screen, question, it was a tornado. Somebody up. It was like a tornado of fists and feet, and everybody yeah. was down, and it was done. Whereas in the second one, it was like, okay, let's pull back a little bit so you can see some of this fight. But he was getting hit by thugs, and it looked like an amateur playing Arkham City or something. Uh -huh. like, he, got, he got his ass kicked by the Joker with a fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put the town on him with that yeah. fight. He had his arm on. Why are you getting hurt? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
you were a fucking ninja and you can't take a <laughs> pipe from a crazy person. Like, that doesn't make any sense, man. They taught you how to do all kinds of weird shit in the fucking Himalayas and shit or in wherever he was. And you can't fucking take a pipe from a crazy guy. Like, that's just stupid. So Not only that, he killed Harvey Dent. Yeah, yeah. You killed somebody, you idiot. <laughs> this thing doesn't kill people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should. Yeah, it's weird because he, yeah, he saved the Joker and let RV Dent die. Yeah, I know, right? And nobody, people just refuse to accept that that happened. But, you know, the way it's written, he's so great. You know, like after he killed RV Dent, you got fucking Jim Gordon delivering monologues in his favor. He has yeah, to yeah, do Can this. anybody explain to me why he couldn't blame the shit on the Joker? Because I've heard people say, it was, there's an explanation. It's there's it's, an explanation. It's written that way. But, That's it. But they, they're trying to say it's a legitimate explanation. It's not. And I'm like, Tell me, and they say no. I won't tell you. I'm like, then you have you have no leg to stand on. What's your argument? Yeah, because it there's it does not make sense that they couldn't have blamed that shit on. The that's Joker. the pretension I'm talking about. Like shit, you watch shit happen. Like, why is it that um it, it was so? Man, someone explained this once I'm before. I'm me because I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also too stupid to realize it. I just banged Kelly El Ghul. <laughs> In that fucking movie, okay, oh, is there Lord. a prison that really exists that's a giant hole in the ground? Because that's basically what that prison was. Yeah. Like, the way, like, you have, like, you have, we have American prisons, and they're, like, built the fuck up, and still we have people find a way to break out of that shit. Can you really imagine a hole in the wall, pri- a hole in the ground prison? Like, <laughs> those people would have been out of there within the week. They would have found a way to get those bars off the, off the they, cells, they, they and they would have built they, a ladder and climbed out of that They would have sold themselves <laughs> out of the- <laughs> Out of the hole, yeah. stacked up on each other's shoulders, like, yep, all right, it's your turn, homie. Come on, freedom, man, freedom. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, it makes I agree. No sense. I agree. I felt like that when I was watching it. I'm like, why is this so difficult? And like, how come there's not like an armed guard at the top just catching Yeah, there was folks no guard when they get up there. You know, it was no just, guard at the top, and yeah. they oh, the whole time they got this rope, right? Yeah, you got this rope, and you got a bunch of like. You're climbing up to the top, and you can't reach the next plateau. Use the fucking rope. Exactly. <laughs> you stupid idiot. You are all dumb. You are all dumb and deserve to rot in bed. <laughs> no, and, and, and with your cable, with your perfect cable, Gotham City is, is all gone to shit, but you got cable in this hole. So, yeah. so that you can watch what's going on. In- fucking direct TV. <laughs> I don't know, but like I said, it's it's a lot of pretension, and people were like eating it up because the setup was so good, but it kept falling short of all those expectations. The further we got from the first movie, the further the story was like kind of falling off, and everyone is like, "No, the Dark Knight is the best one." I'm like, "So the one where Batman actually does the least, he he achieves nothing." That's the best one. Whatever. But that's the same issue I have with the, the, the way that the spirit was. It was like, you're supposed to believe that this is the world that's in there. And then he's monologuing, inner monologuing and shit. And it's like real serious and gritty. and, and But at the same time, it's like super cartoony. Like, yeah, it, it felt like It felt like watching Bugs Bunny and fucking Elmer Fudd fight. Like, it was just weird. They Remember at one point someone pulled a toilet out of the, like... The, the mud or something and like smash it over somebody's head yeah I'm I was like, probably out by then <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was just weird man I just nah I wasn't feeling it but um Frank Miller's crazy <laughs> Frank Miller's just crazy that's just it's just a fact and I think it's starting to show more I knew he was it was it was 100% verified for me when Dark Knight 2 came out mm-hmm because the art was horrible. Batman had these giant ass hands. You know what Everybody I'm talking about? Everybody had big hands. Oh. God, that shit's embarrassing. I'm like a grown man drew this book. He had Superman and Wonder Woman humping in the air and they were like flying through mountains and shit. I'm like, wait, why did they just float up in an area and just do their business? <laughs> why do they have to be like circling the globe and shit? It's like a 12 year old wrote this stuff. Oh <laughs> no! Don't you dare close your eyes. <laughs> I know, right? Superman be stroking. Um, yeah, it was just... It I'll was <laughs> It was just weird. <laughs> Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter. Um, <laughs> Clark Kent. <laughs> I'm a busted me. 
makes me feel good. <laughs> I just, Frank Miller, he lost it. He completely lost it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of any new books, comics, that are worth... Another uh, uh, Blade movie. Yeah, I, I read that what? earlier, yeah. Wesley's going to be Blade again. I knew they were going to do that. I knew they, they have to, because that movie made the most of all the like early Marvel films, you know? Yeah. I know they're doing the Inhumans, yeah. which I'm like, wait a minute. Who gives a shit? You're doing the fucking Inhumans? Like, and you haven't done a Black you haven't Panther? Done a, Miss, you haven't done Miss Marvel or Black Panther, and you're already greenlighting an Inhumans movie just because Guardians of the Galaxy did well. Yeah. Because uh, I think Vin Diesel... Black Panther. Vin Diesel's going to uh-huh. be... Uh, what? They're doing, they greenlit Black Panther. Oh, they did? They did a yeah. long time ago, though. They said they were going to do Black Panther, and then they haven't done anything yet. At least nothing that they've shown us, you know? So I, I hope who is it that they have playing him? Vin Diesel's playing uh Black, Black Bolt. Bolt. Yeah, that's what I thought. Which is kind of funny because he was Groot and you didn't get to see him and he spoke, but now you're gonna see him. He's not, not gonna, gonna speak. Talk. You might speak Wait, like he's once. Play Black Bolt? Yeah. yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really see it. I don't know. There's not enough about Black Bolt <laughs> that that I think will separate him from any role Vin Diesel's ever played. It's just a guy. Who has to look hardcore when he walks in the room? So people See, the have big, to. The big, the big problem, the big, the big, uh, ugh, spit it out, man. <laughs> the big obstacle for that movie is going to be casting a good female character to play Medusa mm-hmm. because she's going to be doing most of the talking through the fucking whole movie. Yeah, yeah. Should be a British somebody. Watch. <laughs> the ninety-five percent of the cast will be British, and um, or it'll be like Shakespearean actors that get it, and they'll. You know, kind of blow it. You know, blow it out of the water because that's the way that all ninety-five percent of the best actors we have in these superhero films are all Shakespearean actors. They're all British guys and girls, so it doesn't. It won't surprise me if that's what happens. Just as long. As- so what do you see? That's me just uh, pieced out. And um, so you said Doom, the Doom, Doctor Doom reveal. Yeah, like. I don't even get, like, why this has become so newsworthy that a couple, you know, pictures of... It's not even him in costume. It's just the green screen screen. and him with the cape and the mask and some shit that they're going on his body that they're going to edit out later. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, God, look. It's like everybody's all thirsty for They want to complain. Yeah. (laughs) They really want to have something to complain about. You think by now we'd be immune to this kind of shit. I shouldn't say we, but the internet would be immune to this kind of shit, and they're not, and it's frustrating. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like every new comic-related, uh, you know, reveal or, you know, news that comes up, we get that, you get that audience that always goes, oh my god, like like with the, <laughs> like with the Batman Superman oh, teaser. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, like all they did was just they were looking at each other. Like that wasn't a, like that really wasn't anything. Or yeah. or when uh, you saw the reveal for the new um, Silent Hill game, and I didn't you even hear watch the that shit. oh yeah, people were going ape shit. Well, it was this chick. She they were streaming the they were streaming the trailer, and so they finally beat it. And because there's all these little clues and stuff that you got to figure out. Meanwhile, there's like a ghost harassing you and shit. And so then, <laughs> so a, then they re- yeah. <laughs> I mean, granted, the shit looks freaky though, Ooh. and uh, and the and they're showing like the titles and shit, um, who's gonna be behind the game, and they show that Hideo Kojima's behind it, and then that's gonna be so the weird. Like the girl's like, oh god, this is fucking brilliant, cause she's British and shit, and then they show Guillermo del Toro, and she's like, ah, going crazy, and then you see uh, what's his name, Norman Reedus, turn around, and it's yeah. all him in CG, he looks like he stepped right out of. Fucking walking, uh, walking dead. dead. <laughs> he's uh, got that dirty uh, ass right down five shit. foot clock shadow and shit. Yeah. And, he's uh, a cool dude, but he just looks like he never showers. Yeah. <laughs> like for real. I mean, I mean, I have my days where I'm bummy and shit. You know, like today is my birthday, and I straight I'm bumming. I was like, I'm not doing shit today, and I even took a shower. And that motherfucker is getting paid millions, and he looks dirty as hell. Even in um, Blade Two, he looked yeah. dirty as hell as scud. He, lo- <laughs> he looked like he smelled like feet and spit. Like, just- <laughs> like 
like still like, spit. Like Blade was trying not to inhale when he was around him or something. Just don't breathe. I gotta keep my nostrils closed. <laughs> Like, yeah, I just, man. But, yeah, he's, from what I hear, though, he's a cool guy. Yeah. He's a cool guy. So, yeah, don't don't get mad at me, Mr. Reedus. Just if he's if doing boondock saints, he's got to be a cool guy. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. People need to get over that shit. It's not, none of this stuff, it's all bait. And I think by now, that's why Marvel is keeping Black Panther from us. Because they know that it's going to get picked apart. And they already know that because it's, it's somewhat racially charged because of the fact that he is a black king, an African king, and the majority of the cast is going to be black. They don't want to deal with what people are going to say because, you know, the fan base for comics for a very long time was like, what, 20 to 30 year old white males in the mm. U.S. And they always complain about everything. So if it doesn't fit what they think Africa should be like, then of course it's fucked up. But guess what? Africa doesn't give a shit what you think because it existed before you know you had any stake in this comic shit in the first place so it's kind of one of those things where I think and I kind of agree with their approach I just wish they would just be straightforward and say yes we have greenlit Black Panther and I know that they've said it Kevin uh, Foggy said it in so many different videos in different ways but I want them to I want to hear him say this guy's playing him this is the people yeah. we have directing it and this is when it's going to be coming out. I know there's a release date somewhere around, but like I said, I've stopped looking at superhero news because it frustrates me how much of it is clickbait and how much of it is actual like news, you know? Um, yeah, on comic book movie, they were doing they're doing articles now where it's asking fans like what do you want to see in the new stop Fantastic doing that Four shit. They need to stop doing that I shit. I know. <laughs> because the fans don't make movies. There's a select group of fans with skills that actually get up, get a camera, get people together, and produce films. The rest of you, it's fucking like armchair soldiers and yeah. shit. I mean, there's some people who have good ideas, but they're not... The ones they always end up listening to are the ones that... That you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't even, listen to. You shouldn't, you shouldn't even, even turn an ear in their yeah, direction. Yeah, you shouldn't be acknowledging anything past the fact that they got their seventeen or their ten dollars to pay to go see the movie. Because some of these cats go ape shit over everything. Every video, every video game, every comic book, every comic book movie, every action figure is not worthy of the same reaction, the same "oh my god" reaction. And that's what we keep getting, and it's like. That's why we can't get nice shit because <laughs> everything is treated the exact same way. Like you can't put a shitty movie in the same league as a great movie. I mean, in the same world where Ninja Turtles was beating out Guardians of the Galaxy at the box office, yeah. you know? Like, no. Mm -mm. No, because it should be very obvious who likes Guardians and who likes that shitty Ninja Turtles film. And, and I've already explained what's wrong with it. It's the same things that's wrong with Transformers. It's more corporate than The Amazing Spider-Man 2. You know, I, I almost couldn't believe that shit when people were like, oh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is the most corporate movie I've ever seen. What? Like, really? And then Ninja Turtles is not? We've, we've never really had, like, Ninja Turtles has never, it's only been super popular in its, like, the first run. It was, like, insanely popular. Yeah. Since then, it hasn't reached those kind of heights. Why do yeah, we, we don't have a, we don't have a coming out of our shells retour, <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's not that big. Oh uh, yeah, like there's no, there was no one was clamoring for a Ninja Turtles movie, you know what I mean? And we got one anyway because it's a corporate decision. Yeah. Because it's an '80s property, and '80s properties have fans attached to them. Watch the new Power Rangers be corporate. Well, come on, because, you know it's gonna because be because Saban. <laughs> yeah, because Saban owns it again, and so he's trying to make as much money as possible. Because notice when Disney owned it, you didn't get movies. Yeah. Saban's greedy as fuck. I mean, and they've talked about it, too. If you ever listen to any of the interviews with any of the cast members who were called back to do the um, uh, reunion season or episode or whatever, or the ones that were not called, some of them were like... I'm sorry, all of them... A lot of them received letters. But the letters were just like, yeah, we, we have this thing we want you to do. If you could come visit this place at this time... And they're not supplying shit for you. <laughs> so you had to come out of your own pockets to... Tommy has to come out of his own pockets to go fly to be wow. in a Power Ranger movie. And then uh -huh, and get paid, like, bare minimum. And get paid bare minimum. And then the others, the P, I think he actually was going to get paid some, some kind of bank, whereas, like, the others, 
weren't really going to get paid to make a cameo appearance appearance on the show. So, like, yeah, Saban is, is pretty cutthroat, so it wouldn't surprise me if... It, 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 it's corporate. I'm not going to say it wouldn't surprise me. It is corporate. Story over. <laughs> it's just the way it is. A lot of the issues that we deal with with these things, it's just, it's corporations. They don't give a shit about us. It's them doing what they do so that they can meet their bottom dollar. Even Marvel, with all the the psych psych out deaths where it's like oh psych, i'm dead psych <laughs> how many times did they do that shit you know what i mean yeah. and other people pointed it out i didn't even think about it yeah, until the other either. day so many marvel movies have that shit i'm going so on. used to it with in comics in general exactly man, when they did you just it never think about it except in comics they were you know they might literally die and then do whatever excuse they come back at least with the movies you kind of knew you knew right away, like yeah, they're not dead. Like, yeah, like, like we know theory. Red Skull's not dead. Yeah, we know. Um, we know. We knew like when Loki disappeared in that black hole at the end of the first Thor movie. We knew he was gonna come back. Yeah, it like I, it never it never was that it, that big of an issue. To yeah, me. or when Loki chopped off Thor's hand. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> but yeah, like you know some certain things. Like Marvel has a formula, and like you know, we're seeing it now. We see Marvel has a formula, and it works. I'm not complaining at all. I enjoy watching the Marvel movies, but um, we're seeing that they're starting to have problems because behind the scenes, everybody's leaving because Marvel is a corporation that's backed by Di they're owned by Disney. They're backed by Disney's people. So if they want it done a certain way, it will get done that way. Yeah, I think it's the beginning of the end. And that yeah, Josh Whedon is left. Yeah, Josh Whedon's gone. I mean, you had all the issues with Ant Man. So like, it, it will be amazing to see how. Let's see what Wesley Snipes does when he comes back as Blade. Let's see if this Blade movie actually <laughs> He's gets made. Stab somebody. Yeah, <laughs> he'll go right back to jail because yeah, he'll spit on you and stab you. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I don't see it being um, a smooth transition because. A lot of these guys that make the best shit, they're artists and they don't need micromanagement. Not to the level that certain big studios want to do, and I think that's what's going to happen. Man, I hope that Blade movie is a hard R. Yeah. I know it won't be. It but definitely needs to be. If it if it does and they and it and it's successful, then you know like Marvel will definitely go through with a Deadpool movie. Not that I'm looking forward to no, that. They could do it on Sons because I this mean, is a different that's, genre. That'd be, yeah. that'd be even better. That's but, what we need. We but need. they know they know they know like Marvel, they know fans want that Deadpool. Like Fuck that's Deadpool. the only reason why they leaked that uh that Fuck video. That I shit, think it was just a test. I swear the that waters. video looked like it was a cinematic that was cut from the game. It looked like something Shinji Aramaki directed. <laughs> like yeah. The, like the CG and everything. Because Shinji, Shinji Aramaki does some... He has yeah. some... He directs some really good CG films. I mean, like the look, anyway. I'm not talking about the movie or the story. Just the look of the film always looks pretty good. Yeah. That's what it, that's what it reminded me of. Yeah. I just... I'm not, I'm not impressed... With, they need to leave Deadpool alone. Deadpool would 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 signal the the beginning of the end. Quick. <laughs> well, because just look in comics, he's not as successful as yeah. people try to act like he is because he's a one trick pony and like he was cool when he was a villain because he was those antics were always the thing. It was it's like a very unique movie monster. Mm. You know, like that this you see this thing coming after people and it's got its shtick. And you're kind of like, fuck, what's it going to do when it gets them? And that's kind of how Deadpool was. He had these jokes, you know, he's getting limbs chopped off, and he's putting them back together, and, and he's out of his mind when he's talking to you, he's talking to the other people in his head, and it was just like, this guy is all over the damn place. But then they make him a hero, and it's like, um, now, It's not really even do? like, I don't, like, I couldn't even really call him a hero, because... Marvel still, calls him a hero. I mean, I know, but I mean, yeah. like, in the sense that, you know, I, I set out each day to do good. Yeah, no, he like, does it by, it's a byproduct of where he happens to be at the, yeah. in the moment, you know? Yeah, and I heard in the comics they're trying to give him, like, like, I guess in this new, uh, what is it, uh, Original Sin storyline, I guess he's got, like, a bigger role than yeah. usual. Um, I don't know, I didn't read any of it. Um, yeah, that's the corny stuff that I'm not interested in. <laughs> I'm tired. The event. I'm, I'm suffering from like event uh, over compensation overkill. or overkill because yeah. I just can't do it every second. And, and some one. of the stories are dumb. Like, like the Hulk. Like when the when it gets revealed, like the Hulk has now he's got issues with Tony because I guess 
Tony originally caused the gamma, uh, bomb. gamma bomb. Of explosion. course he did. Because because he makes the wait, most wait, money. Wait, 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 wait. It, it gets worse. It gets so fucking worse because <laughs> this dude was explaining it to me because he's an Iron Man fan. And even he was like, yeah, this was really stupid. Oh, so he gets drunk one night. And because this is still when he's, you know, alcoholic and he's and he fucks me. He's, he's thinking he can make it better or whatever. And so he tampers with it when no one's around. And then the, then the explosion happens. He gets turned into the Hulk. And, I mean, Banner gets turned into the Hulk. And then they're duking it out. And then there's this whole other, uh, this whole other storyline I'm not even going to get into. I'm just going to tell you the end. Because at the end, um, it turns out that there was a flaw with the, bo with the gamma bomb. That it would have, if had it gone out originally um, as planned, mm -hmm. he would have died. Mm -hmm. But Tony actually saved him it, <laughs> by turning him into the Hulk. Well, of course, no, by by, by making those changes. The, yeah, yeah, that, it, that turned it him into the Hulk. It saved him instead yeah. of killed him. And I was like, I was of like, course. that is really fucking awful. Yeah, like they should. What I'm annoyed about is uh, years ago, Marvel, they mentioned that they were going to do this thing called the MCU, right? I think that's what it was called at the time. MCU or the comics that were supposed to take place in the cinematic universe. Mm -hmm. So all these would be like, it'd be like almost like how Ultimate the Ultimates universe was or Ultimate Marvel was. Now you would have an MCU so this would be another alternate universe where it, it runs parallel to the films. What happened to that shit? Instead now they've integrated all the movie shit into the mainstream Marvel universe. And I'm like, wait, we've been reading the Marvel Universe for years before you ever started making good Marvel yeah. movies. Why is it now you want to change that shit, you know? And I'm not trying to complain, because like I said, I enjoy those movies, but I think I would enjoy comics that actually took place in that universe. Because then you know they know the stories, and you know they could only go so far with some of these stories, which means you wouldn't get an event every month. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't be getting as many big changes as you get and I don't mind well, I think change. You would, you'd get an event leading up to a movie I bet. Yeah but I'm saying like movies aren't released every month Yeah. so it'd be like two events a year or three events. Wait it's like two Marvel movies a year? Maybe three? Yeah because I don't think there's anything else later yeah. this year. So like you'd have two events and that's kind of standard. That's kind of what it was like when we were kids. Actually when we were kids some of those events lasted most of the year. Yeah. So it would make more sense, and then they'd be meaningful events. They wouldn't be so, uh, I don't know, just booty. <laughs> it wouldn't be so, like, forced. Because now it feels forced, because they try to make you feel like everything is a big deal. And I'm like, some of these stories are just not that big of a deal to me. I will say I'm enjoying some stuff out of Secret Invasion. Not everything, but... So they're doing another Secret Invasion? No, no, no. This is, this is the old, this is what they already did. Oh, the old school one. The, the one with the, the scrolls. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're, yeah. So you're back and reading. That. Yeah. Yeah, I read that shit. It's, it's good. I think I have it somewhere in here. Um, yeah, actually yeah, that did. stuff was fun. I especially like the Black Panther stuff. This is what happens when you invade Wakanda or try to invade Wakanda. Like, that was awesome. I, I kind of hope that that's one of the things they're building up to. I hope one of, like, Avengers 3 or something, that's what they're they're dealing with. But I, don't, I think it's going to be the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. It's going to be Infinity which was really corny when it was all said and done it was just really corny i didn't even like the team of avengers they had and it just was that's yeah. where you need somebody like you need a, you need a josh whedon to rewrite that shit and, and make it, and yeah, make it work fat yeah and pull pull a bruce tim yeah make it work and that's what's lacking but you know it's still gonna make a ton of money and it might be fun to watch too but i just think that now they've fucked up enough that if they do not actually have the the formula, it's going to show really quick, you know? Um, but I don't know. I like the Marvel movies. I kind of hope that they get their shit under control because, you know, like I said, I have no hopes for the DC shit. <laughs> I mean, some of it looks better. It's shaping up from what I've seen, and it feels like it's going to be coherent, and that it might actually be kind of epic. But I've heard things thrown around like no comedy... And uh, no, um, you know, Dan DiDio saying that all of the characters have to have like fucked up lives, like outside of being so superheroes. The cops, so they're trying to copy Marvel again. So no, they're all trying to. He's trying to make everybody Batman essentially. Oh. I'm like, look, it works with Batman, but you can't possibly be that stupid that you think that that will make everybody else more interesting. You know, like extreme is not extreme 
when everybody is extreme. Yeah. You know, now you've you've overdone it. So I don't know. I'm like I said, I have no hopes for the DC stuff. I I'm just thinking that it's gonna come out and it's gonna really suck, or it's gonna come out and I'm gonna be really, really, really amazed. I'm hoping I'm really, really, really amazed. Yeah, because Marvel needs some competition. They do, because no one's trying. And, like, there's a lot of comic book characters that are independent or from... Or a lot of properties, like, you know, the Crow. Like, the various Predator and uh, mostly Predator stories that took place over time from Dark Horse. Yeah. Like, they could have done those as movies, and a lot of those would have been cool. But no one's looking at that well, they, shit. They always take aspects of some of those stories. Like, in the... Like, the two AVP movies had yeah. bits and pieces from the some of those one, stories yeah. in the um, in the movie. But they needed to just pick they one just and needed do to, it. Yeah, they needed to just adapt it. If you're going to adapt it, adapt it completely and and just take what made those what those stories good and just make it in the movie form. Don't, yeah. don't try to write your own shit and then, and then steal on top of it. Yeah. And then have it not even work cohesively together. I don't know. How are you going to... Rip off multiple movies and then your movie flops. Yeah. <laughs> multiple stories you just ripped and then your your whole flick just flops. So like you need to stop stealing shit. Or or you write this or you write it like Ninja Turtles. Oh. You tried to combine. You tried to pay homage and combine like different um, origins and stuff like that. But then you still failed in telling a story. And then I and you got paid millions of dollars to do it. It took then three I could, guys to write yeah, that shit. Yeah, and, and and I go back and I read the IDW comics and a thousand they, percent they more get epic. It, they get it completely. They get it completely right on every single aspect yeah. of what makes the characters who they are. Like, like if you're if you're a fan of the comic book origin of the turtles, or if you're a fan of the cartoon origin, they put them together. And they use mysticism to bind the two, basically the yeah. two different origins, and it's fucking genius. Yeah. So you, so you're getting the best of both worlds. Yeah. Um, they incorporated the purple dragons from the 2000 series, and they actually added depth to certain characters. Because I mean, in the cartoon, Hun was just a fucking, you know, he's just a tank brute or whatever. Well, no, he was an intelligent brute. Oh, he was. Because he takes over the foot when Shredder gets killed by the turtles. Oh shit! Really? In this, well, hell, but they went in. They went in a totally different angle in the yeah, comics because the two thousand show was so underappreciated and it was so on point. I mean, it got stupid when they started doing like the fast forward and yeah. the fucking the, the lost season when they had all the weird powers and shit. But like, I think the first couple seasons, mainly the first two, I know for sure because I haven't gotten. I have all of it and I haven't gotten through. I think I'm in the middle of the second season. Um, in my point there's so much of the shit we grew up on they 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 have it in there and then they twisted things you know yeah because they made hun casey jones's dad oh shit really yeah because they used to his dad and then there's this other chick um crap i can't remember her name but she she runs the purple dragons now but she changed them from being a group of you know gangsters to Trying to keep the peace amongst all the other shit, oh, okay. all the other gangs going on. Like the on. Guardian Angels. Yeah, and uh, he decides, like I guess after after Casey's mom dies, he gets real depressed and blah blah blah. But then he decides he wants to be there for his son, so he he goes back and takes over the foot. Um, I'm sorry, the Purple, Purple Dragons, Dragons again, and uh, and then there's this whole other story. I haven't I've stopped reading right about there. I have to I have to catch up, but you know shit was about to go down with mm-hmm. like. The, the Foot Clan had completely beaten the, I guess, the Savat Gang or whatever. Yeah, I, was, I saw those names. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and they were about to hold like some kind of big parlay where they were gonna bring everyone <laughs> under their under their umbrella. Yeah. And then that's where I stopped reading. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I have a lot of that shit. It's just out of order, and so I don't know what I'm reading. I don't know what I'm supposed to read. In what series? And there's so many mini series that yeah, are, the the villain know. origins. Yeah, and all that. I'm like, like and those are all good too. Yeah, it's just it's overwhelming the amount of shit that if I was making a movie, I'd I'd read that shit in a couple days. You know what I mean? Like, because there's so much out there to read. That's why it amazes me that they made such a poor attempt for a film in this day and age with the effects capabilities we have now. Characters like the Utrams and shit would be amazing. Freaking. To do some of the, 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 the past medieval Foot Clan shit. Yeah. With ninjas and stuff. We've done so much 
as we've come so far as far as tech goes and choreography and even cinematic martial arts and they didn't utilize any of that shit you know and it's sad because they could they easily could yeah, they and we could get the, the best one doing XMA that yeah was it just it was dumb in front of a shaky cam because dude didn't know how to shoot a choreographed fight scene like martial arts style fight scene like I don't know I, I just ugh <laughs> it just frustrates me man it's like we're we're doing the wrong jobs we shouldn't be helping people we should be making movies like there's nothing wrong with admitting that you can't shoot action just hire an action director exactly they exist I mean you, you obviously you know you can't choreograph so you hire a choreographer who that guy was you probably should have fired him but, <laughs> um you know, hire somebody who, who really knows their shit. And I don't mean just go and hire Yun Wu Ping to, to choreograph everything. I mean, actually do some research. Yeah. And, and look up, you know, really good uh, choreographers. Yeah. Probably Yun Wu Ping would probably laugh in your face asking him to do I know, right? Some... Choreograph Ninja Turtle. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really don't like what they did. I don't like the end result. I mean, you guys saw my review. Shit sucked. It had some moments where it was like, wow, if those were the real turtles, I would have loved this. But because they're not the real turtles, then I don't like them. Yeah, like I actually liked the scene where they were being punished. Yeah, yeah, the idea was awesome. Yeah. But, you know, I love how Splinter fought. Now, if that fighting style was mapped onto our Splinter or the one from the Nickelodeon, something kind of like that, I would have been really happy. Instead, that fucking nut-headed motherfucker that they made you know <laughs> the movie Splinter looked like just it didn't look right it didn't look right the voice was off the the design was just ugly yeah man it's just like ugly he was the like name he had of the game mange on his face <laughs> <laughs> mange because because it looked like he had like oh, you see where the fur was and then it kind of like stopped and it was just straight up skin yeah and I was like wait a minute man like they have fur all over their whole entire body it just was bad and it's weird because the design the character designer their lead character artist or concept artist is really damn good it's just that what they all okayed and what they said looked good that he did didn't look good yeah. it's like you had all this quality shit all this tech all this everything and you made an ugly ass film with one scene that stood out it was exactly the logic that was used with gi joe retaliation everything was all the money went to that zip line scene in the, mm-hmm. in the mountains then everything else was subpar straight up you had flint doing parkour why because what like why i don't understand <laughs> like why couldn't he have been a good soldier why did he have to parkour everywhere it didn't even help his character. He had no character. He was the Joe that did parkour. That's who he was. Flint. The the guy who they say is like a fucking a Rhodes scholar and fucking like ridiculously smart, ridiculously cool under pressure. You make him the parkour guy. <laughs> did you ever even read one G.I. Joe comic? One. Just one. Like that shit was awful. And it's the same logic here. Like all they knew was Snake Eyes is a badass. So that's what the movie was about. Snake Eyes is such a badass. And, and Storm Shadow looks really cool. I think the stuff that they cut out should have stayed in the movie. Yeah. Like with, uh, with Jinx and shit. Yeah, they would have made the movie a lot better. Maybe they cut it out because the RZA's acting was so bad. The Rashikagi. <laughs> 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 Straight up we get over that joke, man. <laughs> Or the guys on Spill that said he, they look like his makeup was done with a powdered donut. <laughs> that shit is so funny. <laughs> his face was all ashy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That was pretty bad. That, that fake ass beard. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Oh, God. Why the movie didn't they just had have him so grow much... out a beard? Yeah. It had so much potential, too. You know they wanted Jaiman Hansu to play Blind Master? Initially. It wouldn't have helped. Because the movie was awful. That's yeah. probably why he didn't show up. <laughs> And he's made some bad movies in his time. No Retreat, No Surrender? Or, <laughs> oh, no, 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 Never, never back, back Down. down. Never, back, never down. back Down. <laughs> I know you know it's bad when the big budget version is worse than the B movie that yeah. was directed by Michael Jai White. Yeah. Like, that movie was leaps and bounds yeah. better than the original. Oh, yeah. God damn, it was so much better. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was, 100%. I don't know, man. It's funny. I always say I don't know 
but we know. Yeah. We actually do know. Yeah. Because I, I see what Michael Jai White is trying to do with, uh, I hate that they call it urban action just because yeah. it's low budget. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's trying to he's put- telling the stories that, that Hollywood's not telling. Yeah. And it kind of sucks that you, I don't know, when when will Hollywood ever get rid of, get over their racist bullshit? And, or when will... Or, or, and just to start embracing new ideas. People just, fuck Hollywood. There's other people outside of Hollywood that have the money that could actually fund those kind of films. Fund them. Like, you got people on Kickstarter that are getting millions of dollars to make a fucking, you know, maple syrup <laughs> or some shit. Or make a fucking, yeah, like... What the fuck? This yeah. shit already exists. You didn't make anything new, and you're giving yeah. him millions of dollars. Why not give Michael Jai White millions of dollars to make a good movie with a, a, a multiracial cast? Yeah, you I know, I don't know, man. That takes place in a city that people like us actually live in, yeah. not in fucking Beverly Hills, not in <laughs> fucking you know some some fancy part of Miami or Dubai or some shit where people like us will never go. Like it's just it's annoying. Like Blood and Bone was like one of the best. Uh, like low budget urban action. Well, stories. like yeah, that 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 dealt with you know a Fight Club scene. Yeah. Like the storyline, it made sense. It it wasn't. I don't know. It's like whenever they do those movies where it's a it's a tournament setting. They don't get something it. about the script is just always off. And yeah, to me, the that tension script, is always all on just the the, the tournament. tournament. Yeah. In this in that movie, you had. You had different subplots, and it all led. And to it, it all led to yeah. It all led to, it all led to an ending. Wasn't and there all, more I'm, than one tournament though? Well, it, he would fight in different. Um, the the, the fight club was in different spots. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then then there was the, the tournament that was held by the or not the, the tournament folks, but the yeah, yeah the, the, the fight. Yeah, I remember. Matt Mullins. Yeah, I'm and surprised they don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that they don't utilize a lot of those guys like Mike Chatteronta Butt and fucking uh, uh, what's the other guy's name? Um, oh my god, why am I blanking? Anyway, there's a whole bunch of XMA guys that they a lot of them pioneered it and they pioneered XMA at a young age. Mm-hmm. So now they're not very old and they're very capable. I mean, Matt Mullins seems to get all the props and. Uh, Mike Chat used to, because Mike Chat I think is one of the founders of XMA. I think he did find. He might have been, found yeah, the XMA. founder of XMA. Um, instead, they utilized him in fucking Power Rangers. It's dope because you got to see him be a badass Blue Ranger, but like, he's way more capable than that. You know what I mean? Like, I remember seeing him in WMAC Masters. Who Mike Chat? Yeah, yeah, he was, he was Warlock. He was Warlock, Wizard's brother. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Wizard and Warlock. Looks pretty bad. But yeah, I used to watch the hell out of that show. I need to look that show up too, because every now and then there were some good fights on there. Yeah. Like Superstar versus, uh, what was his brother's name? Star Warrior. <laughs> it was a whole Sung Pack yeah. versus Ho Young Pack. It was pretty dope. God, I watched a really bad movie with Ho Sung Pack in it. Yeah. I was, I I saw was a quite sad for, because. I saw a trailer and I was like, no. Nope. It was like, what was a Warrior's Way or something like that? Yeah, I think that's what it was called. I own it, and that was yeah. just sad because I know the dude is capable of, of a lot more. I was like, no, I, I wasn't even trying, not at all. I, I remember seeing the trailer for it somewhere, but uh, nope. I was like, nope, <laughs> <laughs> nope, no way. I don't know. I haven't seen too many good martial arts flicks. I'm waiting for Undisputed Four. Who's in that? Yeah. The Boyka, it's another Boyka movie. Oh. He got the funding and everything. He had a petition oh, cool. going on. I signed that thing like three times. <laughs> it was on. It was on uh, Facebook, and some. He was trying to gather up people to to prove there was an interest, and it actually happened. And then there's a movie he's doing with. Um, but didn't? Oh wait. Okay. Yeah, because he got out of jail in the last movie. Yeah, he's free. He's like out laughing as he was hobbling away. I hope, uh, I hope uh, Michael Jai White is in that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want them to retread. I want other fighters. I want to see new fighters. I want to see new styles of martial arts against him. And I see it. That's what he's doing. If you look at all the movies that Scott Atkins is making, he keeps going up against different people, like fucking Ninja, uh, Shadow of the Tear, when he fought Kane Kasogi. Yeah. That shit was insane. I was like, wow. And... I've been waiting for good fights with Kane. Like, he doesn't do anything. Like, someone mentioned 
and I'm still going to do it. I'm in the process of doing it. I need to review the second Tekken movie. Yeah, don't do that shit. I'm going to look at it. I, I know it's going to be bad, but I'm going to look at it. It's, it's Ken Kasogi and, you know, I still need to watch the whole thing of Muscle Heat. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so bad. 